Ladies and gentlemen, Harmontown is now in session. How are ya? Let them hear you at home. Make a little noise. How are ya? There we go. Uh, Jeff Davis is so, so far away. I've stepped in. My name's Brandon Johnson. I'll be console tonight. Let us welcome to the stage uh, our king, our dungeon master, Spencer Crittenden. Yes. Yes, enjoy him. Enjoy him. You all know him as the mayor, the chief surveyor, Boom Shaka Laka. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. Hello, hello, hello. It's my podcast show, hello. Hello, hello, welcome to my podcast show, oh, 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 can you hear me though, I said no to your mama's big toe, podcast show, fuck your mama, okay, uh, 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 thought I'd try a different, I don't know about the applause, but if it was, if it were organic, you can applaud, that's fine. There was a very, I, ca- I keep having an emotional flashback in my head to uh, our last episode when I was commending David Cummings from the No Sleep Podcast on his graceful uh, 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 delivery. D- uh, 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 Taco. Uh, curating of, uh, or advocating and, 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 yes. and weaving of the LGBT kind of Pride Week kind of thing, and actually, and and the, there you, I said I said what I had to say as far as kudos, and then you were like, <laughs> like you did this, and it was like I was so embarrassed. It was like, because it, it. I haven't seen you in a week, and this is the first thing you say to me. I know. Well, I but it's been a thing. I don't like walking around with secrets from you. Like I, I don't, I don't, I, you know, you where's and I have the, okay. a transparent relationship. Where's the money? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, let me ask you a question. Why did I embarrass you? Well, because I, you know, I, I, this is my problem, I realize it, but I always view the world, I always have a camera on me that is uh, the property of the person that hates me the most in the world. And, that, and that's how I choose to view myself. And so at this phase of my life, that's like a, you know, that's going to be your alt-righty kind of like, like I'm sick and tired of this prog- progress culture stuff. Yes. And so for the forced, like, one, one, <laughs> what is the sound of one man clapping um, kind of like, 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 like thing, <laughs> I was like, oh, they're going to love that, you know? Because it's like, that's, that's their impression of it is like, that's why we're doing it, you know? <laughs> That's why we're. That's why we talk about this stuff is because we want. We want our little Scooby snack. We want to make people <laughs> applaud. Man, I make that camera like an old ass camera with a big tape. <laughs> when I see it, that's just so you know where I'm coming from. That's when we, I when I when I hear this camera that every that this awful voice owns. I don't make it like a nice camera. Yeah, I make it like a really shitty camera, like before you bought it in Van Nuys, it was used for porn. This is a thing is the only, it's like, it, it, this is a thing that's like endemic to the stand-up community, and I was a terrible stand-up, but I was compatible with that community in one sense, yeah. which is, I think it's very like a stand-up mentality, and it's like, the guy in the back of the room that's not laughing, like, he's the smart one, he knows, <laughs> but, but for that reason, fuck him! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I'm gonna fucking murder this room in his fucking face, you know? Like it's just all of this like syndrome of like you can never just like confront what's scaring you, you know? I I I'm like I, I just like so much shame in my uh, spinal column. It's like uh, it's crazy. I'm a shame-driven man. No, no, no. What are you arguing with that for? <laughs> I need I need to have that be true so I can fix it. You can't. Don't tell me no. All right. It, okay. I didn't know it was part of the episode. All right, well, okay. <laughs> so then we got, we got, how long is this arc? Are we talking like two, three more shows? What, till I'm not, have no shame? Yeah. Still, it's a 49 year story, and I'm, I've been alive 45 years. So, I, yeah, four years is the answer to your question. It will be, I will, I will be done with this podcast, and I will, I will, 
Instagram under my new account. Um, uh, hey, no shame. <laughs> It'll be like hidden in the comment of a like a picture of a wine label. Cody and I own a restaurant in uh, some island or something. And I'll be like, by the way, I'm not ashamed of myself anymore. Uh, Cody's dad, happy 70, 70th birthday. We spent uh, uh, since the last show. Uh, <laughs> Stephen Heller, if you you can you can trace my Instagram, you can see his his, his, his he's a photographer. And um, uh, we spent his uh, 70th with him and uh, went to his uh, a sushi place in, uh, where the hell were we, Burbank? I don't know where we were. What, I don't know where he lives. I, I, I'm never, I just follow, I just go where the Tesla tells me to go. I plugged in a number. But uh, he was telling the stories about, um, you know, uh, visiting his, uh, his other daughter. And uh, I, I, I wrote this down because I thought it was such a, a great uh, quote. It was offered so sincerely. He's, he's telling a story about how he got, he had like, kind of a, he just had kind of a, a, a wild night. And he, get, he goes like, so we go to the, uh, we go to, we go to the we go to the concert, and uh, and then there's a bar, and uh, we're we, you know we're, we're having a good time. I get overserved. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know a lot of this is <laughs> I get overserved. Long story short, I got overserved. Yeah. I, just, I like that a lot. We are, uh, we've got this CD case out, we're chopping it up, and uh, someone gives me a huge line <laughs> of cocaine. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got coke injected. Yeah. Like, like someone, someone, someone blew a bunch of coke up my nose. Uh, um, anyways. I love it that you're kicking it with him at 70. He's, he's in good shape for 70. He's still he's, rolling. He looks identical to me. People see me and him and Cody, and they're like, what's going on? Like, I... Young lady, was you, 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 do your uncle and your dad want to? I don't know. Park the car. I don't know what the. I just we look we, we look the same age, and uh, that's that's a warning shot across my bow. But it's good good for him. Yeah. There's there's 25 years between us. I, I, I kind of want to like take the age between us and turn it into a dude and and just talk to him. This is this kind of like lump of 25-year-old Play-Doh. Like, would he be cool? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <sighs> I can't remember because I've been pretty drunk um, a lot lately. I've been overserved uh, in, these, in these shows a lot. So I, I know I've been talking about Fallout 4. I've been replaying Fallout 4. But have I talked about the Preston Garvey issue in Fallout 4? No, I don't think so. Preston Garvey is a man that you meet early in the game. He's, uh, he belongs to, in the post-apocalyptic wasteland, uh, uh, he, he's, uh, he's part of a, a now virtually extinct uh, group of uh, militia uh, men called the Minutemen. And they're kind of like a, they they borrow their culture from like the the revolutionary uh, uh, Minutemen, and uh, they represent like the hope for the future in this wasteland. Um, uh, he happens to be African American, and yes, that is an important part of the story. Why are you looking at Spencer? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, man. So pre it's a, all of these characters, like Fallout 4 is a very, very, they, 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 I'm sure it's got lots of awards, but it really needs like special awards because it has these like, uh, the way that it handles this concept of romance. You can play as either gender, and uh, that's not me signing off on there being two genders, thank you very much. <laughs> but according to this video game, apparently you got a mm, salt or pepper. But, uh, <laughs> But you, 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 can, you can play as one of two uh, genders, and, and, but it doesn't, it doesn't like flip all the other genders, like, which means that basically they're like, okay, so you might be gay in playing the game, you might be straight, you might be a man, you might be a woman, any combination of all of the above. So they had to, like, they had to create these characters that you, hook, you, 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 you encounter, and then they're your companions, and they follow you around. And then they they will if you if they really get attached to you they start you know they start gaining affinity for you, and then you're experiencing that through these conversations. And within these conversations, like they had to keep in mind that you, 
this might be a man talking to a man who is not interested in male male sex. Like so, right. but on the other hand, but it might also simultaneously be a man talking to a, a, a woman, a straight woman that's playing. That's like really like, ooh, uh, hello, sugar sugar man. Like like when she when she sees this guy the first time, you know. Yes. It's kind of like and, and it's just it's kind of it's it's really this masterpiece because I'm looking at this 45 year old man. I'm replaying Fallout 4 and I'm like. I, the, the, you know, these female characters that they, they and then they go like, oh, it's me. My name's a Piper, and I'm a journalist. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I majored in journalism, and and, and like, hey, like, like, we should check. And and you're kind of like automatically like locked into this thing of like, it, 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 like like every time she she goes like, hey, can I tell you something about my backstory and all this stuff? And then there will be a button that says flirt, and then event, and it'll build to a button that says romance. Wow. So you can play it however you want, but I just think the most interesting thing is because I started playing the game long enough that now all the guys are doing this too. So here's the, just the amazing thing about, that, I'm, that I'm learning about sexual projection is that the women characters, when they say, uh, hey, can I talk to you about something for a second? Uh, you know, we've been traveling for a long time <laughs> and I never knew how to trust anybody, uh, but you're really, uh, like, traveling with you has really made me realize I need to get over my defense mechanisms and, and trust people. And I just wanted to let you know, I really, I really trust you and you're really special to me. And, like, when it's a, when it's a woman, you, and then there's, a, the, the, there's, there's the button that comes up that says flirt, so you're, you retroactively go, oh, she's hitting on me. That's what I do. I don't know why I'm saying you. I'm sorry, like I, like I, I go, and, and then, but then when, when, when it's a guy and he goes like, hey, could I talk to you for a second? You know, when I uh, first met you, I wasn't sure. I thought you were a tub of guts, but uh, the Universal Brotherhood of Steel needs uh, everything they've got. And I just got to say, you've given this old tin can soldier a new lease on life. And then, and then, one, and then the flirt button comes up and you're like, whoa! <laughs> But it's, it's really fascinating. It's like an actual kind of an educational tool because it's like they had this, I mean, because the game isn't, it, the game is simply saying these are people who are growing fond of you and then it's up to you to project onto it any, any way you want. And, the, and, and I am ashamed to say as a, as a modern liberal uh, playing <laughs> this video game with that I still I haven't I haven't I haven't gone there with a dude yet and yet I have been so unfaithful in all of the female relationships I just keep I just keep like I'll, I'll max them out until I get all their combat bonuses and then I'll assign them to a supply line with cattle or something or I'll like <laughs> I'll, I'll wow. put them in a field because I'm like well I got their combat bonuses and now I'm now now wow. I'm with now I'm with what's her name and and like so there's no shame about that there was a little bit of sh yeah. I mean, I, there was a, there was a little bit of difficulty with it, but clearly I got over it. <laughs> but I will not. I still won't fucking do it. No one's watching me. I know. I know the the game isn't gonna punish me or reward me in any particular way. It's not gonna make my character gay and like change my weapons. Uh, it's it, it it. I know that the only thing that's going to happen is the conclusion of a fucking like algorithm, and I still don't do it. Shame on me. It's I true. should be fucking everyone in the uh, apocalyptic wasteland. It's true. It's true. You might have more value in, value in that community. You might rise to a king because you met a dude and you guys fell in love. And because the way you, you set your shit up, you, you got to be the president. It would be a man. So here's, this is why I brought this up. So this is why it's important that Preston Garvey is African American. <laughs> Right. So Preston Garvey is one of these male characters who the the so his is particularly it's it's legitimately like it's it's crazy like he he when he gets to the peak where it's time to either hit romance or not he says hey can I talk to you about something um, you know something I I know I told that's how he sounds uh, you know it, what do you want me to do? <laughs> He's not. He doesn't. He doesn't have big I mean, headphones we, on and roller skates. He's not like, hey. I mean, you <laughs> earlier did say something about confronting your fears on stage, and we cool. <laughs> this 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 guy. This guy. He's he's he sounds like you. He's oh. he's he's an unmis. 
He's an unmistakably black man. <laughs> But there's no impression to do of him. He's not like, a, oh, I'm an Italian chef. All right. You know, like, and, and you're not like, yo, blood, like, uh, you're, you're Brandon. I don't think, I don't think, you know, I'm not, it's, a, it's a, like, like, and, and, and uh, so he's a, he's a gentleman. He's, he likes to dress up. Excellent. He, 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 I, don't want, I don't mean to derail you. And I just so, thought and maybe. So, and, he, and he's deep. He's a deep thinker, and he's an emotionally available uh, friend. <laughs> And so he comes up to you when you're playing this game, when you get up to the, to the peak levels with him, when he's been, and, he, and he, what he says is, he goes, um, can I tell you something? Well, you know, I already told you about how, um, you know, it's really important that you, uh, 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 fuck, I'm sorry. It's, it's important that he has this, like, even keel, because it's a voice actor reading a script into a microphone. So that's what's also creepy about it, is that he's not, there is no, like, hemming and hawing about it. He's just, like, reading, just, like, saying these things. I already told you about how, when I first met you, I wasn't sure you were a natural leader, and then I was inspired by you. But there's one more thing I haven't told you. Before I met you, uh, I lost so much hope that I wasn't sure if I wanted to live anymore. I oh. often thought about ending it all. I'm, I've never told anyone that before, but I thought about ending it all, all the time. And just before I met you, I was really thinking about ending it all. And I really wanted to let you know that. And then you have four buttons. And one says, like, flirt. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Like, I won't even save my place and just see what that is. Like, is it, is it, what, do, do I go like, well, if you ended it all, that would mean a couple less drinks on me. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know what that button is. But then, the, then one is like, hey, let's keep this professional or something like that. And then one is like the one I would hit in real life, which is like, thank you for being honest with me. I appreciate how hard that must be to you because know, you're tell what you're telling me is you can't, you don't, you don't tell anybody about this. Uh, so thank you. So that's like, that's penultimate. So then what happens is with these characters, if you, it turns out if you don't friend zone them, if you don't actively friend zone them with the B button, if you don't, there's a button that basically says like, fucking chill. Like, <laughs> like keep, it, keep it above the belt and like rock on. And I won't press that either. So not only am I homophobic, I'm also like a crazy like codependent hunter. Like I... <laughs> Like, I just farm these guys that are like, I, when I walk through uh, my, my, my settlement, these men who are all, these men are all saying like, hey, can we talk now? And, 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 I, and I'll, get, I'll get cornered by them and, and I'll go, uh-huh. And then, and, then, and then Preston's like, his whole thing is he goes like, he keeps, he keeps doing it, it's on a loop now. And here's the thing, it's like, okay, He's first of all, now, the, the, he's African American, he's dressed like a revolutionary soldier, and through no selection of my own, he is working on crops. Like, he, like that's the default that happens. So he's a, a black man dressed like 1700s soldier in a tri-corner hat, digging in dirt, who when I walk by, he pops out of bu uh, bushes that he's like cultivating, and goes like, is, now is a good time for that talk? <laughs> And, and, and I go... Maybe he's asking you to help him out. And one of the... Uh, well, I always... I stop, and I go, what? Cause, and one of the buttons is like, I thought we already talked about this. I swear that one of the buttons is like, we talk, we, I, I, already, I already heard you. And when you press that, he says, okay, cool, because I just never told anybody that before. <laughs> and, then, and then one of the buttons says, romance. So you, and then one of the buttons says, keep it professional, and I never press it. And then one of the buttons says, thank you for sharing. Th and then I keep pressing it. What am I doing? <laughs> and why don't I assign him to a different job? It's uncomfortable. Like, like, or put him in a different outfit. Dress him as a spaceman, at least. Like, it's very, it's a weird... Mind fuck. There's also there's other guys. There's guys that are like George Clooney's and like like armor and like like, like I don't know if the uh, I don't know if the robots eventually come on to you, but but and then again the point is they don't come on to you. They they might they they they're designed to just say I have I, I trust you, and okay that's it. So anyways, there's just a lot of shit going on. I want I, you to rescue this dude because he had to work for the military and he has some beans that he's growing with his hands. 
Maybe listen to him next time and see what he uh, says. I he listen wants. to him every time. I'm trying to tell you, I listen to him every time. I'm caught in this crazy fucking hamster wheel. Like, maybe, what if that's, what if we're just seeing a lo fi version of the simulation that is real life? What if my relationship with these people is like, is that? Like, I keep hitting the A button on, like, like well, do you, do you, do you need approval? Uh, or do you want to be yourself? And then I keep hitting this, like, this middle line option where I'm like, I appreciate you coming to the show. Like, and, and then the, they keep hitting this button that's like, man, I'm a big fan of yours. And we're just like, <laughs> like, like we're never going to like keep it professional, nor are we going to flirt, you know? Like, we're not going to like max our combat bonuses. Um, <sighs> anyways, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm really enjoying my uh, Fallout 4. Fucking, that's a rich game. It's a real good game. The settlement aspect, like, 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 you gotta check it out. That's for a different episode. I'll be talking about Fallout 4 for the next six episodes. And uh, what is this new show? The new show? Yeah. What are you watching? Oh, I Maniac. Too. Yeah, I started, I started watching started Maniac. Too. You guys I, watching Maniac? I like it. Yeah, I got, I got, I, I, I like it too. She's great. Oh, she's so good. Yeah, I know. Is that is there? Are we saying she's in, in italics? Like, like, there's like a little subtext there that if Jonah Hill's listening, he's like, <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> I just figured, you know, we'll start off with her first. Uh, we'll give her her props first. So then we'll work our way to Jonah Hill. Calm down, Jonah Hill. It is just, a, I, lo I, love the, I, love, I like the construction of the show. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm a very jaded TV viewer. I don't, you know, like, you know, like, I met, I, but I, I really, I, I'm really glad I stuck with it. Yeah. And uh, I'm not done with it yet, but... Uh, I like, yeah, I like, I like, I like the, the the very very unique combination of giving you what you maybe didn't know you wanted, while at the same time continually going lateral. So there's like like stuff that's just, oh, I'm always lateral. I'm going lateral, and it gets also so lateral it's predictable, where it's yeah. like 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 just sort of like, yeah, I get it. You hate people. You know, and then there's stuff that's like, oh, I'm Charles Schultz. I'm gonna make you love like your your heart, and and like you're like, okay, yeah, I can see your pattern there. But the, like, like I like I like this is a nice, nice blend here. Like this isn't, uh, I don't I, I don't feel like I'm in the hands of uh, uh, amateurs or old stodgy f foggy bottoms <laughs> when I watch the show. And I feel like no, I feel stodgy like, foggy bottoms. You're I feel right. like I feel like the, it's it's uh, yeah. It's, I like the I like the stuff that they're doing. It stays outwitting. Yeah. I, there was a point where I said, okay, I really like the show now. And it wasn't like at a point where anything got revealed. It was just sort of like, it was like right at the top of the episode where now they're into the second like iteration of them having different lives and he's like a magician that's yeah. like in the thing. And, and, and then it wasn't, it wasn't that yet because previously in a jaded way I said, so what is this show just gonna do this now? Right. Every, every week they're different life? And not really asking myself would I like that or not. And then, and then when, I, when, I, when they started giving it to me, and I was like, okay, I like it. Uh, and, but, but, but also, more importantly, that they came out and they were showing the computer people and then the, what the computer people were saying and how they, they, the, 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 the attention that they're paying to the, to the logic of the sci-fi is really important to me. Yeah. Yeah, but, and and and, it's I, smart. And, and there's a lot of like thought about psychology in it that's not just as simple as like I'm Tyler Durden. I'm like I represent your fucking booyah side, you know. <laughs> it, Incredible. It, it, <laughs> there's like clearly a lot of thought going into like what is that like you really like like oh the difference between her and him on a fundamental level and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I've I've made our guest wait long enough. Uh, uh, he, uh, I, I met, I met him at, uh, my neighbor Beth's, uh, house, uh, her son, Timur, boy, there's a lot of backstory here that's just like, you wouldn't even... So know. Dan had this tree, right? Yeah. <laughs> I had this tree that got, that had to get cut down. Great episode. Classic Harmontown. Right. Um, I mean, amazing episode. Our neighbor, my neighbor Beth, uh, uh, and her, her you might remember her kid, as the nutty kid who uh, uh, always did the haunted house every year, the haunted maze. So, you know, kids grow up fast. We've been doing this shit for a long time, so he's like 40 now. Um, <laughs> and he made, he made a short film and like uh, all this stuff. Like, like, so I was, I was just at their house at a, at a barbecue and I met this guy and he told me about his YouTube thing and I was like, you should come on the show and plug that. Anyways, let's talk to him about it instead of me uh, explaining it to you. Please, right. please welcome my new friend, Omar Camacho. <laughs> I 
Devil of Fist Bumpy. Okay. Yo. Omar, Omar is a star. Omar's a star. Omar is the star you, of a, a YouTube series. It's hard to this terminology now because okay, so you got your YouTube, and then you got your YouTube channels. Like there's so these people that have a channel called Me Too. Right, right. Not to be confused with hashtag Me Too. No, no, no. no. This is Me Too. Yeah. Um, M M I with a slanty uh, uh, instead of a dot. Is the U? I think. Oh, is yeah, it? A, yeah. Oh, you but, think? It makes me feel better that you don't know. Nah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of was in the green room chilling right now. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's, it could be the I, could be the you, could be I or you. I don't know. It's a, I just. I'm a. I'm a white guy, and I see. I see the little accents that you have to hold a, an iPhone button down long in order right. to get. And I'm just like, that's Gandalf shit. I don't <laughs> even know. Uh, I, I know the name of one, which is a, t a, t a tilde, right? And that's what makes tilde, it. Tilde, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. You're right about that. You know what's up, man. I know that's what the more Mexican hit, than I am, you see. The tilde, you hit it in Fallout 4. If you want to do console commands, you want to like, <laughs> you can use it to raise the uh, tr the uh, uh, graphic budget of your settlements. Oh wow. Um, anyways, but, <laughs> but um, so you do. There, so me too. Uh, does this, th they do all kinds of shit, and one of the things they do is a recurring, like, series, Cholo's Try. Yeah, definitely, man. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's just something that they put together real quick on the, on the fly, I think, you know, because it just happened so divinely that, you know, we got, it, it got all this recognition, you know? Because uh, we want to see Cholo's Try stuff, and sorry, I don't want to get too familiar with that yeah. word, because that's the one thing I wanted to ask you. All right, first, let's define Cholo. I looked yeah. it up in the, on the phone on the way here, <laughs> and I knew that I would see one definition uh, that I, I kind of would have guessed, yeah. because of just my white guilt kind of like, it, that it's sort of like a there's, a, there's a definition that's sort of like a derogatory, uh, uh, whatever, like I, kind of like the definition that I would have guessed maybe. Right, right. But then there was a, the, the one that, then there was all this shit about mestizo, like, like, like people with different blood and all this stuff. There's like a lot of, like, it goes deep, man. It goes very, very deep, man. But now, I mean, nowadays in modern era, you know, it gets, uh, misrepresented, you know, as a negative thing. So that's what, you know, the, the media, you know, profiles what a gangster is, a cholo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And as long as it's the title of your show, I can use it in that context. But if I were, I'd have to be a very trusted white guy in a bar to like, to like refer to somebody in the third person as cholo, like, like, like in front of a, 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 someone of Mexican descent, like they, they would be like, they would bristle well, and be like, why are you I'm using that word? a fucking mechanic, bro, what the hell are you talking about, <laughs> Like, like, cause it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not an innocent phrase. It's like, it's, it's got like, uh, yeah, it's not, it gets thrown out a lot. You know what I mean? And but, but then there's the traditional kind of like taking it, taking it back. I actually wanted to read the definition. Yeah, cause I, I mean, what yeah. it is, what, you know, what we all know it for nowadays is, you know, a thug ass homie in the hood. A thug, thug ass homie in the hood. Yeah. Was a, that's the one that I would have guessed. It said informal, offensive, a lower class Mexican, especially in an urban area. There. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Pretty easy. Oh, wow. That's fucked up Webster's Dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm going to have to holler at him. <laughs> um, See. Be before that, though, it says a Latin American with Indian blood, semicolon, a mestizo. And I was like, what? Right. Okay. And then U.S., a teenage boy, especially in a Mexican-American community, who is a member of a street gang. Yeah, that, well, yeah, you know, that's what it is. You know. But what is it, a 16-year-old boy? I, it's a teenage boy. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. shit. Most fools start gangbanging at eight years old, man. Well, yeah. I think, yeah. well, if you're, you know, if you're really thugged up, eight's the new 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. You get those, you get those, uh, uh, those quinceanera tattoos. <laughs> I, t I, I uh, fake it till you make it, Harmon. <laughs> um, speaking of which, the, press the, on the, tattoos. And well, shit. So, how much of a cholo? Do, like, like, how much do you do you gleefully self-apply that? And how much are you like, I'm an actor, and I want to own my. I don't want to be like a sellout and like say, please uh, absorb me. I'll, I'll, you know, like, 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 what, 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 what's your relationship with that word? Well, it's a trip, man. Because right now, how I feel about it, it's ironic that you know it's it's kind of fucked up sometimes that you get typecasted in the industry. You know what I'm saying? To play this thug role, cholo or prisoner or whatever. You know what I mean? So the media perceives us as that. You know, that's a lot of the times we get those roles. Yeah. But um, before me jumping into the industry, 
before I got exposed to like, you know, doing extra stuff and then, you know, lead roles and some small shit and feature shit or whatever. You know, uh, I, I grew up in the ghetto, man. I grew up in the hood, man. I'm from East LA. Was raised in South Central and I grew up in Compton, man. So it's like I got I got all of that shit at an early age. I used to tag and shit. You know your I mean? your friends, you, you're the, if you if you if you YouTube cholos try and watch this guy, this this guy is the he's the Paul Rudd of the cholos, like like <laughs> in the in that you are not covered with like very intimidating. Uh, I assume prison tattoos with scar yeah. was scar in prison. Yeah, I mean I don't know to be honest with you. Um, That's fucking loyalty right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I let, him, your, I let him your, tell you that shit. You know? <laughs> was your friend ever in jail? I don't know, man. I don't even know if that dude's my friend, <laughs> officer. I'll be honest with you. I thought that was a lady. Was it a dude right there? <laughs> me, no, me no speak English. <laughs> oh, I don't know nothing. <laughs> Dispensa. One of, the, one of the cholos, I, I, you, again, using that phrase in the context it's provided, not, not like I'm all excited to call people, to dehumanize people. One of the cholos um, from Cholos yeah. Try is this guy, Scar, who yeah. has a fucking Omar from the wire Scar going down, <laughs> but not, well, Omar's thing is like more fucked, like, like, this is, is, it, is that real? Because it looks cinematic. It looks like a lion tried to kill him with its middle finger. Yeah, well, basically that's And he what... closed his eyes at just the right time, so he has like a fucking thing going down his forehead that continues in a slightly offset way down his cheek. Yeah, yeah, Does yeah. Does he have a story for that scar? Um, other than being a big fan of the Lion King as a, <laughs> that I know of, you know, that's the homie, you know, that's my boy. And it's a tat, you know, it's, a lot of people do think it's something that's for reals, for reals, but it's a, it's a tat. You know, oh, it's a tattoo. Yeah, the homie will tell oh, you. Ah, fucking but, scar, come on. Yeah, but you know, uh, from what the homie has ever told me, like, because I've asked him, you know, and I'm like, yeah, fool, you know, uh, some, something about the Lion King, you know, Scar, the, the, the uncle and shit. Y'all know what's up with that movie back in the day? Yeah. It was like the uncle. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. I guess he liked the name, and I guess he liked the scar right there, and then, you know, he went all out with it. Damn. <laughs> I can't believe you know? you've got me impugning uh, a, 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 a cholo's uh, a cholo ship. <laughs> uh, I'm like, wait, that's a tattoo. Ugh, what a poser. Hey, yeah. but you. <laughs> hey, but. <laughs> <laughs> No, he, I mean, the, the, the other guy, that, like, what, what is it with the, the uh, cause, cause, what, do, can you, you, so you really can't answer that, because I, I, I thought, I, I, thought I thought there was, a, I thought something that you guys, one of you guys said in one of the things that I saw, someone referred, otherwise I wouldn't, because I'd be afraid it'd be offensive to do it, that someone referred to the, his tats and the other, and one of the other guys as, as prison tattoos, that they were, that they were prison tattoos. Nah, another another thing the homie told me he he said he was eating pineapple. That's how I got that tat. <laughs> you know, eating pineapple. He so, was trying to throw right. a little zinger out there. You know what I'm saying? He was, so oh, I get it, fool. You're eating some raunchy shit. Huh? So you guys are like <laughs> actors who are like bunched together by a, a YouTube producer who's like, here, j like now watch Mean Girls and tell us what you think. Like they're not, you yeah. Know, you're not like, hey, it's good to see you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was basically something that was just, you know, I guess plotted on for like a week or something. I don't know, because I got hit up with that shit last minute. Some of the things that the Cholos try on Cholos try, hipster fashion, which I thought was really oh. interesting because. <laughs> Because it was I like, well, well, what I thought was interesting was what, were you guys making that gas face like based on like certain shit that I couldn't like because fashion in general I can't I'm like what like like and so like the, like seeing a guy who's like who's like comfort zone is like with the the button t the top button thing with the yeah, you know the yeah. flannel and then and then you put that guy in a pretty much the same shirt, but all the buttons on the <laughs> sleeves are short, and he's like, whoa, I feel like a Poindexter. And I'm, I, yeah, man. But I'm like, you look, you already look like a Poindexter to me. That I thought that, I always thought that was part of the, like, the whole threat. Like you see like a, <laughs> like when you see a dude and he's got the sandals and socks and it's the socks norm. are all the way up. It's and you're, norm. you look normal with that on. Is, is, it, is, it, is, it, is there anything to like, like the, uh, uh, cholo culture? I'm fucking dumb. What a, I feel so dumb saying that phrase. <laughs> It, it, could you confirm a suspicion that I've had since moving to LA where it's like some of that stuff is like, I dare you to fucking like think less of me? Like, 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 do it. Like, I guess I could say like any ur urban like fashion choices, like where it's like whether it's like a price tag hanging off of things or like something like, 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 like doing things wrong on purpose is, as like a red flag to a. To, to to a to a white bull that uh, like, it's like 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 why don't you ch yeah come 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 at me kind of thing like please make the mistake of like 
of, of, of saying that I shouldn't be wearing this after Labor Day? <laughs> well, no, nah, man. I mean, for me, personally, as long as you ain't fucking with me, you don't pose no threat to be wearing that kind of shit. You could have wear whatever the fuck you want, you know what I mean? Just don't catch me wearing that shit. I don't wear that tight stuff, man. I don't know. I got to breathe, man. And literally, when I fucking tried that stuff on, bro, literally, I felt like kicking my own ass down. <laughs> I swear to God, there, dude. There was some stuff where I was like, okay, I can see how you're uncomfortable. But then other stuff, I was like, to me, I, that looks pretty much the same. Like, it's, it is just a different kind of t-shirt. And yeah. that, like, like, because you can't really fuck with nobody for what they're wearing. You know what I'm saying? You catch a felony for that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you know, shit. I mean, I just the fuck kind of trend you on, dog? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from, I'm an '80s baby. You know what I mean? So I grew up in the late '80s and the '90s. You know what I'm saying, 2000, so I always wear that 501 shit, you know what I'm saying, black, white, solid tee, white tee, whatever, you know what I'm saying, dickies and all that shit. But I feel like these dudes adopted some of that from us, you know what I mean, because, you know, with the flannels, you know what I mean, these dudes wear flannels, it's just, for these cats, I don't know, maybe they ain't fluffy like me, man, but they, they got some, they always wear that shit tight, dude. Mm. It's like, can you even bend, can you climb up a stair or something when you... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? With that tight ass shit on, you know? And they, get, no. they cuff them on the bottom. It may I don't be, know. It, it I think be them saying, point. like, underneath this, I am all sinew and muscle. Like, I'm, I, 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 I need to keep warm. Like, like, yeah, well, like, you try to be a machista with that shit on, homie. You're in the wrong city, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nah, Charlie. You guys, uh, the cholos, try hipster fashion, who watched Mean Girls, yeah. which was really just a couple of dudes watching Mean Girls and getting it. Like, it was just like, oh, okay, yeah, she's now, oh, now she's realizing that uh, yeah. it's, it's not about that, it's about this. Okay, my, got you, my got honey, you, homie. My honey, man, made me watch that shit <laughs> after she saw the episode, and I was like, nah, I'm good, I just saw little pieces of it, but I'm gonna be real, man, I like that shit, she was tight. What, uh, <laughs> what is that your favorite part of that? Uh, well, basically, the fact that the chick is from Africa, right? And she comes over, just that, my favorite part was the, uh, the, the, the food fight. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It reminded yeah. me a lot, of, a lot of back in high school, man. I started a couple food fights and shit like a clown. <laughs> Threw a couple chicken patties and shit at somebody, you know? <laughs> so that was cool, it brought back flashbacks yeah. and I liked it, it was cool, you know? It, cool. it had a cool little twist to it, so, you All know? Right. I'm a big movie buff too, so I'm not gonna shy from, you know, watching some shit just because it's a chick flick. My chick watch, wants to watch it. Hey, blaze up. Let's Netflix and chill and shit. Yeah, man. Movies are movies. Yeah, like, the, the, the net, yeah, like, like, uh, well, yeah, all right. Well, I'll put a pin in that. I want to get back to that and, like, <laughs> Dan explain that business. But, but uh, like, you guys surf, you golf, you ballroom dance. Yeah. Uh, but the stuff that's got more interesting is like the stuff that's not so. It's like like you 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 watch Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, dog, that's like the most racist shit ever, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I I go, swear, at man. the top of it, like, what, what, it's just so funny when somebody says the most obvious thing, but it's like takes on such charisma. So I can't remember which guy it is, but it's like in the intro to the video, it's like we're gonna watch Speedy Gonzalez. Um, I used to watch it when I was a kid. Speedy was, Speedy was, uh, he was my homie, uh, but uh, now I'm an adult, and I know what racism is, <laughs> so it might be different, I don't know, oh, man. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't watched it in a while, let's yeah, check it out, yeah. and then it's just as you would predict, but then, it's, it's, suppose, are they still making that movie, or is that, is that just kiboshed, the, do we know if they're still making a Speedy I'm gonna have to movie? update on that one, man, because I'm, I'm really curious to see what they come out with, and you know, the, you know how it is in the game, man. You know, you hear about it, you know, way in advance. So I don't know if it might be a next year thing or or even how true to the fact that is. It's just we yeah. came across it and, you know, that's what it was. We were like, let's review this shit. And well, in that simple thing, it's happened. just like, oh, we watched Speedy Gonzalez and then we comment on it and it's just a YouTube video. But it's like the place where it's left is the same place that after maybe two years of me trying to be woke and, like, figure shit out... <laughs> Like, as a writer, as a TV writer who has influence over people, yeah. my, my many hit uh, shows. Of course, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, it's, like it's there's, a, there's a constant pressure on me, like, Harmon, get your brain right. You're affecting, like, so many people. Like, uh, <laughs> um, Waking up looking like Doc and shit on Back to the Future, huh? Like, what the fuck is going on? And I, <laughs> I try more... to decode the same stuff that, that you end up talking about in the end, right? In the end, it's like, you watch a bunch of clips of Speedy Gonzalez. He's going, Ariba, Ariba. One, one, one person notes that we, we've, we never sing La Cucaracha for any 
anything. There's no, there's no occasion. There's no. <laughs> it's his boy. His boy is like lazy. It's not. It's not just speedy. It's that they made it slow. Poke. Slow. Poke oh, well, right. no. The yeah. thing is festooned right. with all of these like things. But you're, so, so like, and then in the end of it, it's like you're like, if they make the movie, I think it's you saying this. You're like, if they make the movie, uh, look, you know, like, I'm not saying don't make the movie, but like. You should probably involve some Mexican people, yeah. all this stuff, which is like we are, we, are, we all have this like kind of we're coming around to this wisdom, but it's like this is this thing like you don't have to have an answer to this either because this is what we keep struggling with is right, right. we 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 have this like like we're like we 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 use this word culture and then so then half the time we're like uh, we treat culture like it's like a, a butterfly in a museum or something or like a, like like oh my god this thing's gonna die out or you gotta stay true to this thing and all this stuff. But then, like, you could be a villain and stay true to your culture, like, 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 what is right, it, like right. which is exhibited by you, you, you know, this show saying, like, you know, it, like, well, let's go skydiving. Like, it doesn't mean that only white people skydive, right, and it doesn't right. mean that Mexican people never skydive. But it's like, you're, we're cholos, we're striking a silhouette here. Yeah, yeah. So it, let, let's go skydiving. Let's go golfing. Let's go. Let's yeah. go surfing. But it's like it, it, it does. It, it's like the thing that like my Asperger brain like can't fucking. It's like what is my get it, Dan? Like, get it, Dan? Get it? It's 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 it's, <laughs> it's like it's like like like. And I know the answer is neither. Just is like some combination of the two. But it's just like this constant fucking thing where it's like, are we are we all supposed to be alike or are we all supposed to like like represent? You know? Man, like, like, I see it like this, man. I see it as like fuck the stereotypes, man, because that's what everybody got us twisted with. Everybody, all cultures, you know what I'm saying? The stereotypes and shit. You know, and 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 doing this shit right and getting it right and saying the truth, you know what I mean? Because I mean, the reason why we saw that now as a as damn, this shit is racist as fuck. Is because, you know, we saw it as an we see it as an adult, but as kids, we don't see that. You know what I'm saying? And the people who are writing these cartoons and coming up with these cartoons are pretty much uh, generating those stereotypes. Like, mm -hmm. all these fools, all they do is fucking work in a warehouse and all this and that. You know what I mean? See, you know what I mean? So it's like, if, if, that is, if, if that is what it is, you know, there's people out there trying to break from that. You know what I'm saying? We don't just all work in this fucking warehouse. I work in the office, dude. I'm cool. I'm chilling. Clerical work, homie. I'm born here, so I got rights. You know what I mean? So I'm doing my thing. But I'm not going to let my people's shit go in vain. You know what I mean? Right. For what they came here to do. But see, that's, that's what's projected uh, at that time, you know what I'm saying, as, as a stereotype that uh, maybe is why you're having that, that little clash. Yeah, you know because what I'm if, we, if we celebrate stuff, because it's, like, it's, like, it's like, like we celebrate like, cultures, and it's like, like the, one of the big things that I'm learning about as a white person is that there is shit to learn about. Like the idea that, that, that without perceiving it, that, I, that I, never, I never knew that I was making this active choice, which is what somebody else might have to do when they wake up in the morning, that I was actually, without making the choice, that I was actually thinking of myself as default, vanilla, Mainstream, right, normal, right. like 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 the, the the that that's the thing that we're coping with right now oh, is like is is like white people going like what did I do I didn't do anything wrong what's going on around here what's with all the uh, alarm bells and and, right. and 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 it's like I didn't do anything and it's like yeah you didn't do anything and while you weren't doing anything you can't you you like well who am I what the fuck am I and, and so then we get into these like I think the the uh, the evil versions of me are are. are people that are equally confused but their confusion generates like this this anger and frustration where they're just like what the fuck are we supposed to do what am i blah, 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 blah. like i i i think I, I i've told this story on this on this podcast before but like i i, I was, I was work, working with this writer who he was researching like henry ford or in that era and he told me this anecdote about henry ford at his factories like he had this thing called like american day or something and he would encourage all of his workers that were from all over the world. He would say, "If you're gonna dress like you're Polish, like like for real, it's a, it's a sort of sort of sort of like like a, you'd imagine it being like some kind of like like themed Friday or Taco Tuesday or something." It was like right. you know, like but but it was basically like ethnic day. But because they would Robert they would do this Wednesday. ceremony like whatever you are if you're Polish like wear your most Polish outfit if you're Mexican wear your most Mexican outfit is good yeah. And, and so, and then they would do this big ceremony on the factory floor where they had a literal giant melting pot where all of these 
prideful, grateful workers who were part of this new experiment called America, would, like wearing their Polish outfits, would climb into this, they would walk into this like melting pot, <laughs> like wow. this, and then they would take off, they would, uh, their Polish clothes and put on a suit and tie or like a, like an, Ama and then they would come out the other side and it would be like, like, like here you are. And it wow. was like this, and it's That's like crazy. you hear, that like to crazy. me that absolutely encapsulates the the like the big the big fucking question because when you hear that you 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 immediately go that sounds problematic uh, <laughs> as far as management yeah. um, and that but then you go also there's a there's an asterisk in there in my brain where I go yeah but the bad guys are constantly encouraging us to hold on to the differences too this uh, this this thing of like well, who well, are the bad well, guys? women do this and men do that and it's like we're starting to recognize that that's like a that's like a theme like separating us is how you keep us powerless right right well see i want to know who are the bad guys who are you speaking of well i'm talking about nazis have you heard of oh, them okay okay yeah. Yeah, yeah the government over here i'm talking case. about them less and less as i get richer and richer and I just want to sneak out quietly i but, feel uh, that shit i feel I that i just want to die in a fucking lighthouse like while the fucking atom bombs go off like Fucking yeah. Fallout style, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's Looking no fighting these old picture. bones. Nah, hell nah. You watch Game of Thrones? I'm the Onion Knight. I don't got cable, bro. <laughs> I don't what, got cable. Uh, how do you feel like your people feel about the stuff that you do? They're proud, do you, man. Do, let me ask you this question: for Like, do you care? Are you out just making content for content's sake, which is also dope? Nah. Do you, do you care what your people think? Definitely, man. That's definitely. I think that's very important, you know what I'm saying, to an artist, you know? Yeah. Um, you got to care about what your people think, yeah. you know, because otherwise, what are you doing it for? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to, you know, doing it for yourself, which is another thing, but, like, once you've done that, past that level, it's like, is what you're doing really worth it? Right. Is it making an impact? Is it, you know, send, uh, spreading a message, sending a message or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, what do people say to you? Like when they, you bump into people, you can recognize, I'm sure. Yeah, man. At the, even at the taco stands, bro. I can't even <laughs> order tacos sometimes and shit. But hey, aren't you that guy? That's tough. And I'd be like, uh, oh, where, I, bro? <laughs> I just, I want, I just want to test them. Yeah, don't, aren't you that dude from, uh, you know, the videos, Cholo's Try videos? Yeah. Can I take a picture with you, doc? Holding a big ass burrito and shit, like, <laughs> you know. What I mean? <laughs> in, in the natural, you like, yeah, me and my natural element and shit. Yeah, you already know, like a baby, you know, like. <laughs> there, was a, there was one day backstage, because it was like, what is the one thing that, that, that you were made to try through the, through the show that actually stuck with you? And the answer was sushi, right? Sushi, yes, yes. Y'all ever tried sushi? Yeah. Oh, okay, damn. All right. Yeah. Y'all live up y'all probably live on the hipster side of town. <laughs> you won't you won't catch no fucking sushi restaurant in Compton, bro, I'll tell you that. But um but yeah, that was one of the main things that really stuck with me, man. I I, I was really, really, really skeptical for a long time, dude, because that shit, I don't know. I, it does I, sound, it sounds like. It sounds the, bad. It sounds like the pinnacle of like rich people yeah, abusing themselves for no reason. Like eat this seaweed like with raw fish. Yeah, yeah you know, and, and, and not to sound uh, culturally racist or nothing like that. I'm expensive, I sound offended, but nah, that's all I, I if thought. It's I just, if it's reverse racism, I think we'd all very much enjoy it. Oh shit, well. <laughs> please, I mean, please whip us. I don't know, I guess, I guess people would think I love to eat tacos, which I do. <laughs> but I assumed that it was just an Asian cuisine. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? For just Asian people, you know what I mean? I thought, you know, when I saw that, that's what, you know, they fuck with. Like, because I, I worked for a Korean dude one time, and he brought us some. And um, I think they were California rolls. They had no, you know, raw, nothing. Yeah. But right. that seaweed, I thought it was fish scale. So I didn't even fuck with it, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? If Koreans you, if you got barbecue, though. I can't believe he brought you sushi. Yeah, right? That's what the fuck I'm saying. What the fuck? <laughs> if you, if they you, fucked me up with that right. one, dude. <laughs> That's why you didn't trust it, because you were like, why is a Korean dude bringing me Japanese food? Yeah, if it was warm and looked like it was cooked and looked like, you know, something right. to what I eat, like carne asada or whatever, then, I, then I'm with it. I'm sorry, I'm spelling my shit over here. No, that's okay. It's you okay. Wanna, you wanna, I can fill you up, too. All right. Or, you, or help yourself. All right. Is that vodka? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. The homie brought me water, but I thought I'd help myself to some little drink. Right? <laughs> yeah, Please yeah, do. It's want. for after. You know, cheers, everybody. <laughs> cheers, man. Cheers. To, to everybody, man. Yay. Okay, not to... <laughs> What uh, what what sushi, sushi did you like? Um, once once we tried it, man, and um, I I was really open minded to it, and I tried it, and I was like, oh, okay, this is pretty good. I, I guess I'll give it a try next time. I went out, you know what I'm saying, and I had me a, a little sushi date or whatnot, 
And I like that shrimp tempura stuff. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I do, though? The reason why I like it, though, is because I make a little paste called what I call crack sauce. Uh-huh. It's oh, very shit. addicting, man. I swear, <laughs> dude. It's, it's basically low-sodium soy sauce with sriracha sauce. Okay. Uh-huh. And I dip my sushi roll in it, and yeah, I just yeah. chomp it up, dude. Yeah. Mm. Bomb, homie. Like... <laughs> It explodes in my mouth, dude. Like no homo. Uh, my bad. <laughs> no, shit didn't no. sound right. That shit didn't sound right. But it, ex- it it's like a party in my mouth, man. And I'm like, oh damn, girl, where you been at all my life? <laughs> you know, it's like that. Yeah. Sushi's bomb. I love it, man. It's like I, lo- I love sushi. Man. Shrimp. Yeah. What's your uh, all right? Well, what's your dream gig as an actor? Like, uh, can you point at anything that anybody else is doing, or like a kind of movie that you'd like to be in, and it doesn't have to be realistic and whatever? <laughs> don't you know, like this is your fantasy? Like, what would you like to be doing as an actor? Ah, uh, shit. In my time frame, my lifespan, uh, I would like to be, if anything, somehow reincarnated to uh, Antonio Banderas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking career, man. Antonio Banderas is a shit, man. You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, him being a Latino, I respect his work and all that. He, he did a lot of good stuff, man. And um, I always thought he was a good actor, you know? And, you know, somewhere along those lines, you know, he, he never really played the cholo homie role. Like right, that's some true. dudes in, in Stand and Deliver and, you know, uh, Lou Diamond Phillips, you know, which is a re- very well-known, respected actor in yeah. the game. We do have this. I know if my my ex girlfriend, who's like a media studies, probably got her PhD by now, she would always blow my mind with all this shit. But she would, I, I, I imagine if she was sitting here, she'd go, yeah. But there's also this other the, the Latin lover thing is like this yeah. other way of like, it's like there's two ways of like oppressing uh, African American like 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 people. Brandon, yeah. I'll explain it to you. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's like like, like there, there, there's like the there's like the infantilizing where it's like oh look at this little knucklehead he doesn't mean no harm and like then and then there's the thug thugged out kind of like uh oh careful someone's someone's rolling up it's like it's like why are you Eddie always Murphy? trying to take you always trying to take the big dick thing away though <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried to take that away there's three oh, things shit. there's three things infantilizing <laughs> whatever that word was. Big dick and then thug. <laughs> and the one that upsets me the most is the big dick one. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah, so, I never... so stereotypical. Oh. Not only have I never questioned that stereotype, neither of you. Like, <laughs> the few people do. We just tolerate it, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> but oh, but it's like but that 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 guy that the, you know they're like oh I'm I'm a Latin lover it's all it's all, they're also like a like, like a, a mandingo thing like that that idea of sexualizing a uh, a, a, a less than privileged uh, class like that, right, right. It, it it can feel like it's like awesome but at the same time it's like if you're if you're into the hobby of problematization. Because <laughs> you t- you had a degree, it's like you can like trace how it actually like. Let's stuff. but like, yeah. you, but why am I shitting on your dream? You want to be fucking. But Darius isn't just in movies where he's just where he's like seducing white honeys like with a rose in his teeth. Right, right, right. He, does, he, he he's like he also like like he was like he was like the he was the, he was the uh, Mexican Bruce Willis. This is what he was. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Is he Yo, Spanish exactly. though? So, okay, sorry, yeah. racist. Yeah. No, you're good. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> Nationalist? Just shouting it out. <laughs> Just shouting it out. Can I? So, okay, so yeah, let me ask like dumb white people questions about Latinx <laughs> culture. It, uh, do, do you, if 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 uh, if you see a, a Spanish guy, do you guys get in a fight? It's it's, it's a joke. It's, it's a joke question. No, no, nah, I'm, I'm gonna answer that shit for you, man, because you know it's it's a yes and a no qu- uh, answer. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it all depends on the person who it is. You know, I, I've rolled around with homies that they're active and whatever. And we we going to Hollywood Boulevard just chilling and we walking. I'm peeping out the honeys, but this was peeping out the dudes. That's who's mad dog in this fool. Like, what the fuck you looking at? Fool? And they want to start some shit. And I'm like, dog, chill, homie. Kick it with the honeys. You see what the, what's up the honey? I ain't trying to go to jail tonight, dog. You know what I'm saying? We out here on Hollywood Boulevard and shit. You know, so sometimes it could happen if if you know you know you're not with the right people. You know. It, hmm. I think that okay, uh, but let, let, let's dig into the all right. So I want to dig into this this fantasy. Like like maybe we let's let, let's 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 do, let's do the movie where you're the uh, you're the, you're this kind of like if you were a Banderas type, okay. like 
What kind of, what's your, what, what's your, what is your favorite, uh, not your favorite movie, I hate when people ask me that. What's a movie that you really like? Like, like that you would be like, man, if I was in that movie, I'd be so excited. Uh... <laughs> Maybe something like uh, Carlitos Way, Scarface. If okay. it was a Banderas movie, it'd be Desperado. Yeah. You know, Trejo was in that a while back. You know what I mean? He's doing. Yeah. He's, he's, you know. And um, I like how you say Trejo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Danny's cool, man. It's very Latinx. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's it? Is that new Latinx? I just learned that. I was so excited about it. Cause shit, school me on that shit, Dan. La- I don't la- know what the hell. Well, you never so, have you heard la- the phrase Latinx? La- Nah, Instead of because that? I think it's just I can I can help maybe so you know how there's like Latino or Latina I think Latin X is just trying to do both of those oh it's like a sci-fi I think that's the way people of, do it uh, like, like gender yeah. gender identification type of well kind of oh. it's just like it's like to say kind of like Latin people like 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 saying oh so you're like uh, you're like a Latin X comedian or something like like you're just in that community like that's how people use it I think well Brenda do you want to weigh it shit <laughs> okay <laughs> oh, oh I, I don't know wh- I don't, I'm not gonna you know, I'm not all I know is <laughs> Malcolm X. I'm just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> is it true that Malcolm X was developed because there was Malcolm Ma and Malcolm O? Yeah. <laughs> there. Malcolm X <laughs> representation. Uh, there had been Malcolm Nine. <laughs> and Malcolm oh, in the middle, man. too. Don't forget that Thank guy. You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But like, um, it, it, like, okay, so, like, yeah, okay, I want to write this movie for you. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Like, I don't want to put you on the spot, but uh, okay. Um, uh, let's, do, let's do like a radio play. Let's come up with a name for your uh, character. It doesn't okay. have to be crazy. Do you want to name him? Or, uh, or, yeah, we can, I can name him, man. Uh, how about uh, um, Toko? Toko. <laughs> I like that. Breaking Bad. Let's make that the name of the movie, Toko. All right. Um, are you, you, could it be Toko 3000 AD? <laughs> yeah. Just so yeah. that I can, so otherwise, because if I'm writing it, like. Is that still before today, though? No, it's no, way no, after. no. But, but yeah, like exactly. Yeah, it, like, it could, but it could be so far in the future that shit got thrown back, so it's more savage. Like, it doesn't, like, as long as, because otherwise, uh, I just don't want to, like, be out of bounds with. No, no you know what? I'm going to confront my fears. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's do that it's shit. It's called Toco. It's Thank set you. in 2018, Los Angeles. All right. You know what? Echo Park. Orale. Um, <laughs> Familiar with the area. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, there's a, there's a guy, Toco. He's uh, he's just getting out of the joint. All right. You mentioned Carlito's way. All right. He did not belong in the joint. He went to the joint for the best reason you could go to the joint. Okay. Being a gentleman. Yeah, definitely. To his homies. <laughs> definitely. Like always st- happens. St- stuck by his homies. Yeah. Um, like like did the honorable thing in a dishonorable world. Is now getting out. Toco. But we don't want to be too Carlito derivative, so like we got to change something up here. All right. All right. But Toko's getting out. Well, let's let's feel it out. I'll, okay. I will. Can I be? I'm. I don't want to be. I don't want to do. Uh, uh, be, you want to be my rich white lawyer? Yes. Bail me yes. out. Okay. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll. I'm picking you up. Or, or or do you want me to visit you in prison? Is like a cold open. Like I can. You're I can, picking me up. Okay. In, pick, a, in a purple lowrider. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm picking you up in a purple lowrider. This yeah. is the beginning. Is that of Toko. his? Is it? Is it the lawyer's purple lowrider? Well, let's, let's okay. Find we'll out. find it out. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll yeah, discover we're it. it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm just a love machine, <laughs> and I won't work for nobody but you. I'm just a love machine. <laughs> oh, God damn it! Yeah. Oh. oh, Toko. Yo, uh, yo, what oh, up? Oh, so hey. good to see you. Is that you, Rich White Lawyer? Yes. <laughs> oh, shit, what's oh. up? Hey. Oh. Listen, I can't figure out this Meshuggah uh, <laughs> vehicle, uh, this low ride, high ride, I don't know what with it. You told it, me it, to take it, care of it, I take care of it. Man, come on, dog. You, you new booty to this, man. Don't act like you're new school, homie. You've been in a low low before. You know what it is. It's just wow. like a female, dog. You gotta play with it a little In bit. one, I've been in one, but to drive one is another matter. Uh, <laughs> 
Okay, well, now you take the keys, finally. Can you drive still? You've been in there so long. Oh, yeah, man. You, <laughs> yeah, even though I'm sipping on a little bit of Pruno, it's all good. I still got I got it, man. It's, it's more like a video game when I'm faded. I'm now, driving. Okay. I'll drink and drive, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Public service or nothing. Now, Tuco, you told me when I picked you up not to talk to you about another job. Well, you know my name's Toco, so don't ever Toco. get it twisted, yeah. rich white lawyer. <laughs> Don't, Don't ever get it twisted, Rich White Lawyer, because we're hitting switches right here, homie. I'll fucking bounce you out this car ASAP, no matter how much I pay you to get me out, homie. It's not... Uh, it's Toco? It's been... To oh, sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. God toco, damn it. Dog. We rolling Toco Loco. Uh, look, uh, hey, listen. Um, you know how the system is of going over these bumpy <laughs> roads. Jeez, all the hydraulic work your people do, you'd think this would be an easier ride. Yo, what, what kind of hydraulic your sea has, man? Uh, I just, look, Toko, if I seem anxious, uh, it's only because it's been rough since you've been in, and uh, I've got some real Michigas to, uh, <laughs> to discuss with you back at the, at the, at the uh, cafe. All right, well, what is it? Well, maybe we should move into the next scene. All right. Um, <laughs> we don't want to, uh, let's just, let, you know, there's been some changes to uh, Los Angeles since you went in. All right, so what is it now, Rich White Lawyer, that I got to worry about, man? Because I'm, look, I got the guns. I left them right here in the stash, so they cool right here. <laughs> What's up? All right, can I take y'all order? <laughs> can I take y'all order? Hi, oh, hi, Rich White Lawyer. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> You look at you, you creepy Unabomber looking. Hi, okay. Toko. What's up, we, drive through person? What's happening? When did you get out, Toko? <laughs> Just five minutes ago. What you got to eat up in this motherfucker? You know, we got eggs and ham, and <laughs> oh, we've man. also got your favorites. Casa de la Waka my Leila Fara Fera. What's your favorite? Fuck? That's some new shit. I've been gone that long, yeah. homie. God damn. <laughs> we started grilling the onions now. Things done change. And last time I was out, all they had was tacos de muerte. You got some? I, we got all that. We have a new chef. We doing different things. Anyway, I don't want to stay too long. <laughs> what? What can I get you to drink? Some orange juice? I would like a gluten-free arugula oh. salad. <laughs> with a hypoallergenic Jewish napkin. <laughs> okay, we'll bring you something without gluten. Anyway. Just let me get chorro in a bag, fool. <laughs> you still the same as you was two years ago, Toko. I'll be That's back. Right. I never change, homie. Toko. That's the, that was the cold open, and then it's like... Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. <laughs> I'm just a love machine. I'm just a love machine. Just a love machine. Just a love machine. I'm just a love machine. Okay, and now and now we're at the we're at the cafe that you're. Uh, uh, listen, when your father your father passed away while you were behind bars, which I hope it's not. Uh... Look, 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 don't even worry about all that, rich white lawyer. Okay, check it out. You ready to keister this shit for me and cross the border? Ke keister? Yeah, keister all these kilos all up in you, homie, like a ha ha la pina and cross the border. Uh, Toco. Uh, <laughs> we in the legal profession refer to, uh, 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 we have a saying, uh, do not keister things. Oh. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's not, it's, uh, it, it's not becoming of the legal profession. Oh, well then, are you ready to hoop some of this stuff up? You mean? And cross the border? You, uh, uh, Put it in my in my butthole. Yeah, fool. No, I, I feel like you've mistaken me for having a problem with the language. You see, you came and got me out because yeah. you said you needed some help, right? So you came and got me out because I need your help too, right? Oh, so now you got to do this for me. Toko. I broke you all this bread. This is the only way we're gonna be able to pass this stuff, rich white lawyer. Come on, what's up with you, dog? All right, I'll make you a deal. You do one more job for me. And I'll do one more job for you. All right, but me first. Yes. Oh. All right, so I'm putting one in my butthole. Yeah, you're putting two in your ass. I'm putting two? Jalapeno, dog. Jalapenos? Yeah. Or jalapeno. Jalapeno like a hot habanero this time. <laughs> Ghost pepper, just for talking shit. Okay. 
Shit. All right, uh, uh, but, uh, okay, Mr. Uh, Harmon, I am the uh, one who oh. will be inserting. I'm a doctor. Uh, Toko said you were on your way, and uh, here you are. Oh, hey, yes. is this like uh. some magical post-apocalyptic <laughs> shit? Because people just popping out of nowhere in this motherfucker. Yeah. Toko, this... I told you don't do that indica. Now just sit down while I put Damn. these bags. <laughs> I'm gonna put these bags in Rich White Lloyd's asshole for you, like you commissioned me to do. Talk. Yeah, on. fistfuls of that shit. You, you every time, right? Yeah, yeah. Rich yeah. White Lloyd, I'm gonna need you to breathe. Yeah. Breathe. <laughs> breathe. Oh boy. Breathe. Oh boy. Just fall asleep. Oh. I know fall what you're asleep. Oh. This isn't supposed to happen to you. Just fall asleep. I used to be a surgeon. Oh. And oh, now just fall Mother and Saint Catherine of Agnes you. Church and all the Paul of Now, you good? You good? See, you didn't feel shit. Oh, shit. Outside the doctor's office. <laughs> You, you know good, Rich White Lawyer? It doesn't feel so bad in Yeah, my... you're just gonna be walking with like a duck, but you're good. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, now I'll go to. So now you want me to go to Mexico? Yeah, so now we're going to cross the border because, see, they're not going to fuck with me if they see me with a rich white lawyer, right? Oh, All right, yeah, so I, let's do this. You ready? I get the impression that I command a lot of respect from society. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Respect. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, here we go. Uh, George Lucas wipe to the Mexican border. I'm just a love machine. Um, and I want we're, we're nobody but My you. hermano I and I are going into your you. beautiful country to partake in its culture. And we will not be bringing back any agriculture. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm with him. I'm with him. Oh, I'm on my lunch break. Talk to this dude. <laughs> okay. Um, Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hello there, sir. Can you guys get out of the vehicle? Oh, well, you know... <laughs> It's officer, really I, I happen you're not, to you're be You're not going to cavity search my rich white lawyer friend, are you, officer? Well, I'm only going to do the normal things to do, which may include that. <laughs> well, I happen to be a lawyer, right. and um, uh, I don't think that there's any reason for this to happen. <laughs> well, you I'm also a jerky boy. It's a, <laughs> it was a famous <laughs> series of prank calls from the 90s. <laughs> Please step out of the vehicle. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm stepping out. Okay. Rich white lawyer, whatever you okay. do. Okay. Um, rich white lawyer, whatever you do, enjoy that shit. Yeah, man. Enjoy Togo. that shit. Play the part. Enjoy that shit. Because that's what he wants you to do. <laughs> Can you open your asshole, sir? <laughs> Can you smile for the camera? <laughs> Cut to prison. <laughs> rich, rich white lawyer's now in uh, orange coveralls. He's in a, he's in a, he's in a prison cell. All right, rich white lawyer, you got your shank ready, homie? Yes. I, so you're telling me I need to shank a person? Yeah, fool. You're gonna roll in my car, homie. Come through, man. Just look. Are you Toko? Come on. I don't dog. need to be racist. <laughs> Come on. It's because it's more of a radio play. I don't know. Are you Toko or is Toko? Am I? I did I take the fall? I'm his motherfucking Selly Loco, fool. Okay. Selly I just Loco. look like him. We all look okay, alike. Okay, just like okay. Asians. I didn't mean to offend. I, I've got to get. Okay, so I will do the shanking. The tell yeah. me, okay, so, sorry about yeah. that. Yeah. No, no, you won't be doing the shank. You're gonna be getting shanked, fool. Oh no, I don't want to get shanked. You're my shield, bro. Like a fucking quarterback, a fucking running back. That's a You're thing. You're my shield. No, that's that's terrible. Yes. I, 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 yes. You gotta save me from people like Brandon over here. No. Okay. Well, I, I I'm afraid to ask the question, but what if I refuse to do this? <laughs> then. You're just gonna be taking hair on up your ass your whole life. Okay. Well, Open I know that sounds asshole, pleasing, well, but you gotta do this, rich white lawyer. I gotta, I gotta be a human. Take one for the team. Human shield, and that, that'll get me out of prison? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, I'd like to be out of prison. Because nine times out of ten, you're gonna get shanked, but you're gonna go to the infirmary, my boy. You're good. Okay, I will survive it. Yes, maybe. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, well. Oh. Well, it's okay. It's been three years. I've had a lot of heroin in my butt, and um, I'm gonna. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to be a shank shield. Okay, <laughs> put me in front of you. Here we go. Prison time. 
Damn. Here we go. Here we go. Damn. I'm a shield. Rich White Lawyer, you lost a lot of weight, man. Oh, is that bad? Yeah, that's, 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 that's really bad, man. Okay. Well, I, you know, the ice cream here is not gluten-free. <laughs> well, did, did they not send you the memo, though? That's, that's not really ice cream, my boy. Oh, is, is that sperm? Is that what we're... <laughs> Is that what, where we're going? Uh, no. In your case, they call it yogurt. Oh, it, which it is gluten. It's human, yogurt. human semen. This is what you mean. They, in the, it's yogurt. All right, I'm distracted by that. I'm gonna be. I'm a human shield. Look, man. I'm gonna just let you know right now, Rich White Lawyer. Your your, your run has been cool, but I think it's it's it's, it's time for lights out, dog. Damn. Lights out. Like just for tonight or for the whole... <laughs> for the whole... No one stabbed this man. He's chock full of semen. And he could blow up at any moment. Oh, I'm bulletproof. I'm running. I'm no, getting out of prison. No, don't just walk out of prison. I'm getting out of prison. I'm Wait, so full of semen. No one will touch him. me. <laughs> no, he could burst. I'm out. I'm out of prison. I'm oh, running. No. Rich white lawyer. Fuck you, no! Toko's friend. I'm tired of trusting your culture. Toko, what happened to your lawyer essay? Toko will never Did even be aware of my treachery. I'm defense. tired of this. It's oh, time I looked no. out for number one, Arnold, the rich white lawyer. <laughs> oh, no, Arnold. I'm getting in my waiting boat made out of blue jeans. Essay, we need you. I'm not your essay. I need somebody to All get me of out of shit like the, a white person, you. dog. I need you because we don't not not that trustworthy to the system for our words. It's always the same story. I can't hear you over the sound of me put, setting up boundaries. <laughs> Rich white lawyer. I am escaping from prison by myself in a blue jean boat. I am now the protagonist. <laughs> I've had it. I've had it. I'm in Manhattan now. And now I'm in Manhattan. Here I am. Hey, Brandon. Rich white lawyer is over here being a hoe in prison. He won't budge. Man, you can fuck with him. You can have him, dog. For free. Well, nothing's ever for free. Yeah, for free. <laughs> Just give me a fucking tienda, homie, commissary. I feel like I'll we got right. rich white lawyer to Manhattan. Is this a flashback? This, this is a flashback. A flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll out on this last Manhattan scene and take it home and roll the credits and play Shine Sweet Freedom by Michael McDonald. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, take it in on the inseam just a bit. Uh, I didn't get your name, Mr. Uh... <gasps> Toko. Toko! You're making my suit? Yeah, duh, if you want to call it that. Yeah, Damn. I'm making you soup. It's going to... Hey. Delicious tonight, my boy. Remember you was trying to run from me, fool? Shots we Remember <laughs> it? Oh, no! I got you. I got you. All right. Well, a little extra something in your dinner tonight. <laughs> hey, yo. I, I, extra I, delicious. That was Toko, the movie the, the, the about, about <laughs> Toko getting oh, out. Damn. Man, fucking Toko, dog. I don't do that. I don't make everybody do a movie. You know, that was that was a lot put upon you. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, shit, it's all good, man. Shit, it was a dope ass movie, man. It's gonna be a sequel to this shit. I thought, I thought it could, it could use. I think it could use another pass. Uh, I, uh, I found it to be a little linear. Like uh, I, 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 I'm a story guy myself. Like I didn't, I didn't pick up on enough curvature. But I then again, to, yeah, I wanted to see him eating semen earlier. Oh. <laughs> I think that could have been a nice thread I really, I, I, think, I think those are the deleted scenes, though. That shit was too explicit for content, though. <laughs> nah, that's good. I thought, like, why did this guy even go to law school? <laughs> <laughs> and he clearly, got fucked over. Clearly, he never once, like, tried to use his law degree to get out of this situation or just practice law to get Toko free. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like his character is called Rich White Lawyer just to get around all the anti-Semitic issues. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, let's just call it, they were in the boardroom, they're like, let's just call it what it is. Yeah, because yeah. at some let's point you become Toko's very best friend. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. In Toko 2? Tuko? Yeah. <laughs> the, story, the story of Rich White Lawyer. <laughs> oh, it's like, it's like uh, the rise of Taj. Uh, yeah. Like, you already know. <laughs> exactly like that. Yeah. It's a reverse rise of Taj. 
Uh, I didn't see Van Wilder or Van Wilder 2, The Rise of Tosh, so I don't really... I, I feel like I can, I can figure out those movies from the posters. He really yeah. did it. I feel like Tosh rises. Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> Some say he achieved new heights that Van never could have even dreamed of. Are you saying that in a way Tosh became Van Wildest? Whoa. Oh, Holy shit. shit. Ah. Holy shit, yeah. Uh, Is that what happened? I don't know. You guys are deaf it. with it. I don't know. <laughs> I what's, assume that's what happened. This, a lot of shit happens like that. What's the What's the least Cholo-ish, the whitest, I guess, movie that you like? Like, example, 27 Dresses. <laughs> if that's the answer, uh, you can say it. Because we, then we'll talk about 27 Dresses for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that one. It's pretty good. It's oh, pretty shit. good. Let me see. Let me see real quick off the top of my head within the next five seconds. Uh, white chicks. White chicks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm fucking with you, man. I'm fucking with you. Uh, shit, it would have to be. Ah, oh, shit. Lockout with uh, 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 Die Hard and Space Guy. Nah, it's a. Uh... I mean, can, can can I add it in with watching it with my chick and shit? Her of chick? course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Notebook, I guess. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, um, that counts. The Notebook. Yeah, that. Is... I kind of cried a little bit on yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was see, high I, as fuck. I haven't seen the Notebook. Whatever you do, don't be blazed as fuck watching movies, man, because you're gonna cry. Dude. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, wait, man. wait, wait. You're gonna wait. cry, dog. Have you noticed a theme that will make you cry? Is it like father son stuff, or is it like underdog stuff, or like? Yeah, all that stuff, man. All that stuff gets to me, bro, on the real shit. Because it's you know, it. it uh, no oh, shit. Well, movies. <laughs> I thought you were about to cry. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I paused for a second. <laughs> nah, nah, fuck it. What it is, man. You know, movies reflect on how you live sometimes in yeah. your life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, if you portray your life in a movie fashion, you're doing this shit all wrong. But if you f watch a film and you can relate to it, and it hits home, you know what I'm saying, deep in your heart, like with something you might have been through or something, or you know what, whatever it is, you've gone through fucked up relationships or whatever, you lost a loved one, whatever, man, whatever the dramatization is within that film that got to you, uh, you know, it's, it's shit like that 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 really hits home, man, that gets to me, man, and like. I'm a big movie buff, you know, and sometimes like I'll 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 just be in my zone peeping these movies out, man. And um I'm trying to think of the last time I like, was like bawling. I think it might have been Coco. Like like I'm not trying to I'm not I'm not trying I'm not bringing that up to score culture points. <laughs> oh no, no. I feel you. I I t I, I think I, it was I like toward the end Coco. of Coco I started fucking losing it. I teared a little on Coco, man. But and it was unexpected because at the beginning, of first twenty minutes of Coco, I was like, "This shit's more complicated than Phantom Menace." What the fuck? Yeah. The fuck are you talking about? You yeah. got to be a skeleton by morning, but on Tuesday, if no one has your picture on a bench, you know, like, but yeah, yeah. But it, but it, it, did, it did it did turn out to be quite simple, and then, and then actually like was like very profound, and like I was I was like I was just like fucking like sobbing. I can't even actually remember why I was crying. My girlfriend will just fucking like she'll she'll just sob like a cartoon at anything like like yeah. like anything that's like like where if the well I don't want to cheapen her it has to be sincerely done but I'm just saying like she cried to sausage party and like, shit like like well not quite that no guys but like anything where the director was like was like you know you know I'm. If I had it my way, you'd be crying right now, like in a real sincere way. Like Cody will, like, like, like she'll actually, like, uh, unpredictably, like she'll actually be like sobbing. Did you see? You didn't see. There's no way you saw. Did you see a ghost story with Casey Affleck? Uh, he's wearing a sheet the whole movie, and then you gotta watch a girl eat a pie. This is weird. Movie. I seen the Sixth Sense. It's pretty it's similar. It's kind of like that, but yeah. <laughs> That, that's a movie. That I was, got a lot of catching up to do on movies. That man. was the I'm most. So... Uh, well, this movie, like nobody's seen it, but yeah. but like it's the most. Uh, like I, it was the most unexpected. Like it's like Casey Affleck is just a dude who he's like he dies, and then he, the gimmick of the movie is that he's just under a sheet, like Charlie Brown, like 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 the whole movie, and it's like it, it like wait, the movie waits for you to like get over that and be like this is corny, but yeah. then it's just like he's just hanging out in the background, he's in a sheet. And then, like you, there's a scene where his uh, girlfriend, like it, you're just, he's just watching her, and she eats this pie that somebody gave her. She's alone, and it's like the camera doesn't cut, and then you just watch her eat a fucking pie, 
because she's like binging, but then and then I think she goes and pukes it up or whatever. But it's just like sort of like it just it's like two minutes. Like and people who don't like the movie, they're like like, like they immediately leap to the scene. Like I don't want to watch somebody eat a pie or yeah. Casey Affleck in a sheet. What are you doing to me? Yeah. And I, I don't fault those people. I'm not saying those people. You don't get it, man. Yeah, I, yeah, like, yeah. Like three seconds into the movie, and then change the shit. Type but of the moment. crazy thing is, if you're on the other side of it, and the only way, reason I was is right. because Cody started crying. And then I was like, why is Cody crying? And then we paused the movie, and uh, that's my girlfriend. She's got a guy's name. She, 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 <laughs> she, she, she my middle name is a female's name. Oh. Yeah. All right, so we're like, yeah. we were basically like yeah. family. Yeah, we're the same. The, <laughs> we're the same, a little different, but same, same, you know? Same but thing. I started thinking about what, for the first time in my life, I started thinking about, instead of thinking about how sad it would be to die, as in like how bummed I would be to not be able to live life anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't get no more life. Yeah. Like, and I, I was like, I started getting scared that I would die, uh, and, and like because of the like, I, I was like, oh my god, what if you had to watch your the person that you loved cope with your? And I know there's been other uh, movies about that, like, like uh, what but, dreams may come, yeah, like exactly. Robin Williams, yeah, like I ne those never affected me, like I never I watch those and I go like, eh, grown up shit, like I don't I don't know this like hipster thing got to me. It's like Casey Affleck's in a sheet. Maybe it disarmed me. Like, like that's you just I, cold hearted, Dan. I don't know. You're just I, fucking cold hearted, dog. You don't got no love. I think I just that's needed, what I've been telling. I think him. I just needed to have like a relationship with somebody that was like so co like yeah. she started sobbing and then she's like, I'm gonna pause it, make us some drinks. And then yeah. I was like, That's it goes great. deep. It goes and then, deep. And then I was man. like, What's she crying about? And then I was like, May as well figure it out while she's making drinks. It was truly like like I I I, I and honestly. <laughs> Ever since then, it's been several years now. I still think about that scene from that movie when right. I think about death. Yeah, that's my new that. Like, if the director of that movie knew that they had accomplished that, yeah. would they be proud? Uh, ashamed? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I, they. I'm, I'm sure they would have been proud, man. It's, it's only the chosen few that can catch it. So, what would you, as an actor, would you really like to like? Do you'd like to play a, like is would that be your ultimate fantasy is is knowing that you did something that somebody somebody out there even if it's one person because of your performance they it it like it fucked up their whole brain it changed their whole life like that would be the brass ring right well that would fuck me up if I fucked up somebody else's shit like that but if I help change their life in some kind of way then you know I've served my purpose in life you know. But yeah, like I, that, that'll be that'll be dope, man. Like that's that's actually what I really strive for and live for, you know. A lot of the times, what I do in my music, you know. Uh, music. Yeah, I, I produce, man. Drop a beat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why are you kidding? Dance, well, well dance because sometimes because raps because, on this because show. he may be into bluegrass. We don't know. We, we didn't I love bluegrass. <laughs> I love bluegrass. <laughs> I love all kind of music. Man. I did, but his did. hat says dope. Which you, you're, you're, and he's you, got a chain on. Do you use some, SoundCloud? Oh, some, some stereotypes are real. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, yeah, motherfucker what's with the, freestyle probably. Uh, 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 what's, with the, what's with the Morrissey thing? What, 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 like, how, how is that real? Like I don't understand what that at that? all. Morrissey. The Morrissey thing, like the the, the it's a, that's a that's a genuine cholo thing. If I can use that word outside the context of the title of your show, like. Fuck it, like what did you, 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 like, like Latinx Los Angeles dudes, like being in so fucking big into Morrissey, did you, you're not familiar with that stereotype? Nah, to be honest with you, I oh. don't, I'm not familiar with the stereotype. I, I think there's a band called Morrissey, ain't there? Yeah, it's, yeah, so a lot of guys like him, I guess. Oh. Uh, it's, 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 it's the weirdest you know, thing because it's he's... the hipsters, bro. They look like us. That's what I'm saying. They adopted our culture oh. a little bit, you know. There's Might sort of a a, there's like a rockabilly crossover. So it's lowriders, rockabilly, fifties type. Oh okay. really? Is that it? I heard of some shit yeah. called cholo goth too. I don't know if that falls in the category. Could be, could be you know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, these fools are crazy, dog. They're fucking. But a lot of the lucha so boom crazy, people though. are are Morrissey fan type. Because I couldn't pick up. I mean, I was like, I know, I know Morrissey from impressions. Like, I know Dana Gould's impression of Morrissey. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> he's like, he could, he couldn't sound more white. I think he, isn't he literally British? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, he's not. It's like that's what it's. It's kind of just funny. It's like you just sounded like you was a uh, trying to sound like a creepy ass Santa Claus and shit on a <laughs> December evening, the night before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what, yeah, that's what I did. I was just fucking with you, Dan. No, it's okay. Jesus. My hard feelings, my boy? <laughs> No hard feelings. Cholo to cholo. Cholo to cholo. No, no hard You're feelings. not making me an honorary cholo. <laughs> Man, we're gonna we're gonna cholify you in the backstage. I want to see this cat cholify. We gotta cholify Dan, I think. Don't we're gonna take Dan. Hey, we're gonna take Dan backstage and have our cholo experts work with him <laughs> yeah. Yeah. to create a know. brand new look uh. that'll say, "Hey, papi." <laughs> Watch out for the new Cholo Dan and shit, you know what I'm saying? Would we have to shave him? Like, what would we do to, uh, to, to make Dan... Nah, we ain't got to shave him. We'll let him keep his masculinity. His masculinity. <laughs> okay, all right. You know, we'll keep... And Any then we just throw of... on some bandanas, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like Tupac. All right. You know what I'm saying? Throw right. him some Sharpie three dots, like the crazy life, the little teardrop. But can we give him something that is just uniquely Dan? Not Tupac, not anything you've seen before. Well, like, tat him up with a little Rick and Morty right here on the side oh, of his eye and shit. Damn. Crying like, and shit. It's three, it's three dots, then, but know? then when you look at them, they're like keys on a typewriter. Okay. Mm. There you go. Okay. Whatever you, whatever you, whatever you want, Dan. We got like, you. You know what they <laughs> call me, I say? They call me the TV writer, homie. <laughs> Orale. I'll serialize your ass for Netflix. <laughs> I'll write about you in my next fucking series, Holmes. It's a new generation, a new marketplace. It's all about streaming now. I don't even need to do modular. I eat tacos at home, Messi. I'll tell you one story over 10 episodes. Make everyone watch it. There you go. There you go. Serialize that shit, bro. Dude. Serialize that shit. You're officially shit. a motherfucking thug. Yo, yes, oh, yesterday's shit. bad oh, yeah. movie is today's hit oh, series. We gotta, Just we make gotta it work. 10 episodes, bro. Yeah. Groundhog right. Day meets a fucking tire shop. Uh, we got to certify you, though, with the handshake, <laughs> my G. Oh, certify shit. you with the handshake, certify homie. Certify him. No, no, you, that, he's oh, fucking up. No, you're not. Strike a, one, Dan. You're going to fall All off. All right, well, I get three strikes at least, don't I? You sure do. Or are we cholifying baseball now, too? <laughs> nah, this ain't baseball, homie. You're going to the pan for this one, All though. All right, well, what? I mean, are you ever going to even tell me There's what one, to... One. One. Two. Two. And the pound, huh? Three. Oh, okay. That's not hard. Let's uh, let me do that. Let me do that fast. It's an instant classic. What? Oh shit! Oh, I got it. Oh, strike, no. strike two. Strike two for Dan. All right. Oh no. Here we go. What Third time's a charm and shit. Right. <laughs> oh man. I, I want to be casual about it. I go. feel like I feel yeah, like getting it wrong should have penalties. I just want to be. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's almost. Like, he's about to fall off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, Garcon, uh, give me uh, another of the brisket sandwich, and uh, I've got a cholo friend coming by. Yeah, I'm going to holler at the uh, homie, dog. Okay, okay. I'm going to holler at the homie. I'll holler at you in a little bit, dog. All right, all right. Oh, hey. What's up, homie? Choco. All right, we'll scrap Shit. Up. What's up, dog? Fucking yeah. 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 Yay. Yeah. So anyways, about this new uh, financing hey, you plan. fucking go. Uh, on now, your... now, what you gotta do is pretend you got arthritis, my boy, and you throwing up gang signs, homie. Damn. Just pretend you got arthritis and you throwing up gang signs, dog. Is that is that, that seems like a like a is that like a, that seems like a Paul Rodriguez bit from like. <laughs> I don't know, dog. I just know you got arthritis. You a G, homie. You throwing up gang signs, dog. Yeah, I think there might be like a stand-up bit from. The, 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 uh, fucking, fucking Felipe? I always worry about when, yeah, whenever, whenever, whenever uh, regardless of the culture, because a, a lot of guys have that thing where you grip the hand and do that thing. I always worry about my fingernail length. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like, if you're a real man's man, you're not necessarily uh, manicured. And then I'm always worried about, am I, am I digging into this guy's soft tissues with my <laughs> yeah. fucking gross... Fingernails. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch out for that one, man. You gotta, you gotta have nice. I mean, you ain't gotta have nice ass fucking manicure fingernails or whatever. As long as it ain't gonna shank me, bro. I don't understand why these things keep it's fucking dangerous. growing. Don't you think they should have come out with a pill by now? Just make these things stop growing. Yeah, yeah. But I think if you can't do it without the pill, man, you just lazy as fuck. What about your, what about <laughs> your toenails though? Oh, like, no. I, it's like, like toenails, like it's like it, to be old and to like hunch over and you got the thing and it was like 10. You ever seen the dude with the long ass toenails? Yeah, me, me. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Because I put it off as long as possible because I'm like, are you kidding with this again? Damn. It just keeps coming out. It's like this, cra it's like fucking insane. Like, I was like, like what am I doing this Where's for? Where is it coming There's gotta from? be a pill. It's Do you use scissors or hedge clippers for your shit? 
Uh, I, I, there's obviously just he uses like, a straight razor. The, the nail clippers well, that you get. Uh, you can go get that done. You can go get that done. Go get. Oh no, yeah. Well, that's. Go get that done. They had. You had the the cholos tried Chinese foot massage or whatever, and the one guy was like, "No one's touching one, my feet." Yeah. That's how I felt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like yeah. no one's touching my feet. Like I, I, don't, I, I won't get like a professional back rub or uh, anything. Like I, 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 the same way I would never, I would never avail myself of a sex worker. <laughs> it's because where other other men would 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 think, uh, oh, uh, I, I I just I just you're make, my bitch now. I I just make it all into like, well, they're they have they've got a metric, like they know how much acne I have on my back, like like oh, they, they've seen every back, so now they're gonna be like comparing. <laughs> so I don't want anybody. Like, oh, look at this guy, who got a fucking land over here? You got a mountains? You got my, what city is this and shit? You yeah. Know? I got a lot of shit to work through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, feel, I feel the insecurity. And the thing about I feel the feet, the though, is once you get the feet done a bunch of times, I wish I could cross that threshold kind of, where I would yeah. just go into a place like three times. and just be like, do my feet. That would be the cra- that would be crazier. You don't have to talk to them right there. <laughs> <laughs> they, know, they know what you're going in there for, bro. I love it. You do like, my feet. Let me explain why I'm... <laughs> Let me explain why I'm here. Yeah. Well, because you know what I would really on. do is I would be like, um, hey, I, uh, and, and they would be like, do you want me to do your feet? Like, they would yell at me. And, I, yes. and then the next time I go, I'm like, do my feet. And they'd be like, you don't have to yell. And I'm like, see, I don't like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to harass you. They're going to guide you over to a chair. You go. You can go with Cody. You guys to can get do it your together. feet. You, uh, you, you do this all the time? I, I don't do I this. I know Jeff does. Now, yeah, I, I heard. Do I heard. You don't do it. In downtown LA, man, but you I gotta do be my careful. If you go do that, you gotta be careful of which one you go to. Because I heard in downtown LA, do my feet could mean something else. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That might be better. I will tell you, you don't, don't get, know. you don't get ingrowns that way. So you can you can have somebody do your nails, or you can go to a doctor, and then he's gonna cut your nails out and shit. I'll tell yeah, you, you something. you don't want to have claws, my boy. Yeah. For I fucking. Don't mistake feet. this for a brag, but I don't oh. think I don't get any of those. Problems because Boy, I have the one problem, which is that they grow at one inch a day. Yeah. So there's no ingrowing. There's no thing. I have one problem alone, which is just hey, like do they, do they ever Freddy Krueger feet? Like, do just, they ever cut through your shoes? Bro? Yeah, they, yeah. They they are constantly running up against the the fucking like physics of our world, and I and I. <laughs> I, I the only I, I go down to get uh, uh, the food at the door and uh, and if I, I'm not wearing socks and I'm like I'm just like don't look down like you know like I, I, I it, my You're toenails it clicks like it clicks like a dog's feet when oh, you walk. Oh yeah. <laughs> it, it, it they grow very quickly by my definition. So you got to keep away a certain length of everything because otherwise, you know, you're going to fucking step on it. I mean, uh, or poke through it or shrank that shit or well, it doesn't whatever. Even, I guess, it. Outside, of the, outside of the open. fact that like when I'm in That's the bed sheets, up. if I'm naked in the bed sheets, uh, oh, shit. It, 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 be, the, only, the only thing that doesn't have to do with vanity, like, oh, it looks gross. It's unbecoming. You look like a monster. Um, <laughs> who wants to look like a monster? You know, uh, my audience does. Okay. But, <laughs> like, like, like they, we come here to celebrate. But, 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 but the, the one thing is, like, you, the, uh, the bed sheets, and then you're, like, you, you, like, move your weight around, and you're naked, and you're, the should be the best moment of your life, naked, just like fucking like I uh, love my life. I'm gonna play some Fallout 4. Uh, uh, like and you're just like and then like you're you're you get this weird reminder that you have a monster toenail because it like fucking... drags along your thousand thread count sheet <laughs> Man. and like makes a sound or something. Do and you you're like to... I'm a monster. I'm a do, monster. Do you find yourself having to buy sheets constantly? Uh, fucking no, slicing I don't through them. I don't know how many sheets like... I take out that way. I just I feel like I just feel like yeah. John Merrick. <laughs> That's great. Well, then you should be one of yeah. the X Men then, bro. Well, John Merrick was for his time. I guess he probably was like an X Man, but like yeah, before, before they really appreciated them. <laughs> like, like I, yeah, that's the thing. I just like, like no, like, it's it can be rough. You, come on, you there's also... gotta be, come, there's gotta be a pill. Your, your girl don't hook you up, my boy. <sighs> well, hook me up with what? Like, like, a, like she don't man, well, pedicure your shit. Yeah, like, man. like, well, she's offered. She says, like all women do, they go like, well, let's go get a pedicure. You know, like, like everybody but me is like, always like, well, let's go do this. Well, not not a. Take you to get a pedicure, but like hook your shit up, like 
at night, you know what I'm saying? When oh, I like her do it? Yeah. That, that would be the last bingo spot I ever, like, marked off. That would be, I would be done with my life. Like, she if, gonna, I, she if I ever had the confidence to be like, clip my toenail, <laughs> hey, young yeah. lady. Sure, sure, babe, I got you. That would be, ah, like, me at my shit. most sexual, like, like, I would be, like, Gandhi at that point. Like, yeah. if I was, like, <laughs> I, was, I was like, yes, I'm so comfortable, like, yeah. Like, Cody has reduced my shame a lot, but I can't picture myself ever being, like, do that thing where you clip my toenail. <laughs> this next segment's called Cholos Get Hate Mail. <laughs> oh, see. One of my yeah. most embarrassing moments I still remember, it was yeah. like, I was like, it's gotta be 20 years ago now, when we my first girlfriends when I moved to LA. Oh, wow. Right. Like, I, and a, the, I, I, I was unemployed and she was very employed and I was staying in her apartment <laughs> and I'll just, I'll never forget the phone call. Like, because I would stay at her place and then I would like, Eventually, you know, she'd go to work at eight in the morning, and then I'd fucking lounge around and watch GoBots and smoke a bowl, and then like fucking head back to my apartment and yeah. think about like GoBots or whatever the fuck my Shit. job, what I thought my job was, and and, uh, and then one and then her like calling me because we didn't have text and anything back then, and just and and her being like, "Did you clip your toenails at my place this morning?" and me going, "Yeah," it's like. Did you I'm do saving it? them. Did you do it on a paper plate, like <laughs> on the couch, like while you were watching TV? Cause yeah, you get the idea. Yeah, like yeah. you, you forgot a step. And I was, <laughs> I, was I, I still to this day, I'm just like, you fucking go. Or can you imagine? How could she ever touch my penis again? <laughs> oh. I, uh, I did it to my roommate. And uh, the? I cut them in the fucking shower, and it had been like Hulk growth. Oh. <laughs> they were like long and discolored, you know, oh, like shit. like old slave toes, right? Damn. And I left just a fucked up pile. And the look on this dude's face. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was I like, thought it was it, a girl. It was, uh, it was a dude. <laughs> he looked at me, and he was, it was like, why would you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> Like, Who are why? we picturing? Who is everybody picturing? What race is this guy? What? Uh, how old is he? I'm picturing. This wait, who am I picturing? I'm picturing Paul Giamatti. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it I just so deep. He was just this lovable. He's <laughs> like, look, I'm, I'm the first person to celebrate the other. Oh. I'm not a traditional man's man. Well, why would you do this? <laughs> To me, Paul Giamatti. Yeah. <laughs> he took it rough. I will tell you that the dude is—he's more on the Adam Levine side. <laughs> so picture a motherfucker. It's like you were just rooming with Aquaman. Yeah. So yeah picture, like... picture a dude who looks like he deserved that shit in retrospect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I this have... motherfucker. I'll tell you this real quick story. Can I just jump in here? Yeah. Real quick? Well, no. Take your time. It's, it's... I, it's all about filling. Uh, I don't know what this show is. <laughs> This dude was my old roommate. I did this to him. I regret that shit. But I will tell you that. Uh, hold he... on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me interrupt. Jump, come on in. You did this to him, you said, right? I did this to him. Purposely? No. We're like, oh, let me. In, walk retro... in, right quick in. in retrospect. See a little yes. something, something. In retrospect, yes, he did deserve it because, and you will love, you will love this story. All right, let's hear is it. Is that this motherfucker wanted to throw me out early and shit, right? And I was like, B, we grew up together. Well, what are you fucking mad at me for? And he's like, I'm not talking to you about that shit. You can get the fuck out. And Anthony Michael Hall read my treatment today. <laughs> and you're just right. my black friend. <laughs> right. And there's no role for you. No. So, <laughs> so. So, old boy's like, you gotta go. And I was like, look, man, we, we should be able to talk this shit out. And he was like, fuck you, get out. And I was like, that's bullshit. He's like, it's not bullshit. And I called the police, so you should dump all your weed. To wit, I was like, motherfucker, you trying to make me get rid of my weed for some bullshit? For some toenails? Right. Evicted so, me for some weed? So, he's got this gun-shaped bong, right? Worst idea ever. Oh, a gun-shaped bong. And oh, you just shit. called the police. And I was like, hey, man, maybe you should get that gun-shaped bong out your motherfucking... Wait, like, he did call the police? He called the police, and right? Then fucking snitch. What That's are you right. guys, were you guys 22? Close. Okay. So, so I wipe all my fingerprints off the gun-shaped <laughs> bong. <laughs> and then I deposit it in the living room of our house, right? And old boy is like, the cops leave, and he sees... They never come in the house, but he sees that I have done this to him, and he looks at me, and he goes... How could you do that to me? They were gonna bust me for the bong. 
And I was like, you called the cops. You called the cops. <laughs> and you were trying to get me hauled off in the fucking paddy wagon for some bullshit. Talk about some dump my weed. Nigga, get your bong. <laughs> you think I can't be fucked up? You got me fucked up, That's homie. That's right. Your gun bong. Your gun bong. Now, your bong gun. Back to your story. Well, ha- hashtag not all white roommates. <laughs> you know I would not do you like that. Thank you so much. You just, when you Thanks. said Adam you Devine, go. I heard white. Uh, you're, you're much more of a. You'd be but much I, more I, of do a have, I do have questions about clipping your toenails in the shower. How? 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 Wait, maybe that is the best place to do it. Is it? Wait, what did they? What did I miss that they got? I you, said you're you're much more of the Paul Giamatti type. <laughs> 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 Less Adam Levine deserving. Oh. How, where, where, okay, where's the ideal? How do you clip your fucking toenails as a guy? Like, shower? I've never even heard of this. Yeah, they're softer. How, oh. Get okay. your shit, you got to get your shit Softer wet. sounds uh, That's why worse. Women, they do say, your homework, no, 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 no. Dan. Do your homework. Softer sounds difficult. That sounds like turning it into string cheese. I don't, I don't, I don't like, 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 like pliable now. It's, yeah. it's a, I'm sorry, by the way. I'm, this has got to be triggering. It's somebody. softer. That way you don't got to use hedge clippers. I, 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 but I, I just truly like. I just don't want to be a monster, and, and I, I just like. I, I have these fucking horrible. Claw not a monster, feet. Dan. It's I easy got, to cut the shit when it's feet. wet. There's got to be a way. If you, there's got to be a way to become rich enough, there's got to be a thing from Sky Mall where you just put your foot. Oh, yeah. Inside a little thing that's like a RoboCop sock, and it just goes like. <laughs> fucking buffs them and wax like a floby or something, and then you pull oh, yeah. it out, and you're like. <laughs> And then, and then let, Take let your a selfie girlfriend, of this shit you know, and... like, like other people go like, look at those square toenails. Those look ridiculous. What a corny uh, pedicure. I'm like, yeah, but they're not monster claws. I don't <laughs> yeah. know you how. You can't to... cut meat with the motherfuckers no more. I'm six feet tall. I have a prodigious belly, uh, gut belly uh, thing. What do you call it? A belly. Um, <laughs> you get this little thing from Target. <laughs> it, it's, it's, the idea is you get a, you get a bend over. I feel my intestines like squishing like like I'm like I'm like it hurts it hurts it hurts it hurts I'm like I'm like I'm like contorting myself I'm like it hurts I can't I'm not gonna be down for so long I gotta do it ten times but now, like three three times on the big toe and then something like I'm just like clip 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 and it's so hard I don't this is the biggest thing in my life if we if we could if we could figure this out well, luckily, Dan, you just got to get over that shit because, you know, you can't get over this shit. That's not a solution. That is lucky. And just go get a damn pedicure, man. They'll do it for you. Unfortunately, there's no, I mean, not that I know of. I don't know about fucking anywhere else in the world, but if they got that shit, because I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. I Probably. just haven't been exposed to it. But I'll be down to get a pedicure, man. You just got to do it. Here's you the gotta other do thing. It. If, you, if do you're it. obsessed with having that shit, like, oh, I don't want to be a beat. Go get it, Dan. Take your girl, man. Fucking go get your shit shaved and hooked up and shit. You know what I'm saying? You might leave with a happy ending. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's they kind of... This, it. this is my Honkies Try YouTube show. <laughs> <laughs> Crackers Har- Try. Har- Har- try. <laughs> we can't tell you what we really enough. call you. <laughs> nah, man. It's, uh, we, we hey, can't tell you. that's a good <laughs> concept. That's a very good concept. <laughs> Wait, isn't that America? Crackers try. That's 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 what that's that's the gimmick of the country, isn't it? Well, I'll have it that. Old. I'll have that. I don't like that. I always I thought I always thought it was try crackers and shit. That's why they always fuck. You know, I bought no. the fucking damn saltines and shit. But but I guess it's the other way around. I don't know. You guys tell me. Tell what me are you that. guys gonna do next? Like, how will you expand? What are you cholo's gonna try next? What are you gonna? How are you gonna expand the brand? Uh, we're gonna go gang bang on motherfucking. <laughs> no! You've uh, already oh! tried that. God damn it. <laughs> no, no, no. We have, we haven't gang banged well, out there in Dubai. We haven't gang. Oh, what's sorry, like, I didn't hear the rest of it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's like? Uh, Dubai. Dubai. Fools up. Like, what's up, homie? <laughs> <laughs> L.A. over here, dog. Nah, but uh, like to be. TV? Yeah, well, we, I've done some things. We've all done some things. Yes, that, that, not asking that. I'm just saying, like, are you guys trying to, like, expand? Like, get Definitely. into different markets, do, you know, like, Definitely. maybe a TV show? Netflix. Like Netflix. Definitely. Netflix. Get that Netflix deal. TV. Yeah, hey. All that, no back end. All that sounds bomb, man. All that sounds bomb. I, I, I think with the, uh, with the success of the short film that we just, uh, you know, put out, Hermanos. Hermanos? Hermanos. Hermanos? Hermanos? Hermanos. Where can we see it? 
It's on YouTube, man. Y'all awesome. can peep it out. It's, it's called Hermanos, which basically means brothers in, in Spanish. Okay. You know what I mean? And it's uh, it's been a it's, it's been a huge hit. Right now, it's like uh, surpassed three hundred five uh three million. I'm sorry, three million point five. Whoa. You know, views, which to me is very successful. That's you know awesome. I mean? That's we'll awesome. Say you know, and, and a lot of people have been giving good feedback and reviews. Uh, people was also mentioning, you know, this should be on Netflix or whatnot, and and I I don't disagree. You know, I I think yeah. it should be no back know, end, no back end. Yeah. yeah. Own how own did it, you guys put it well, out right? You know, well, as long as it gets the exposure and we, yeah, you know, yeah. that's how a lot of people all, feel. Yeah, because everything else comes comes into play. You know, so net, net, Netflix is there. They got a big pile of cash. They're like, hey, who wants money? Yeah. The answer is everybody. Here comes Dan. Like, hey, Los Feliz Films. Hey, we yeah. want to shoot. I want to fucking produce something. Yeah, yeah, go. And, yeah. The, and they're like, well, what about the part of TV where I, if I made Mr. Ed twenty years from now, I can get a dental plan? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> How did you, you guys know? put Hermanos together? Like, how'd you put that crew together? Mostly people from Los Angeles or people from all over? Yeah, mainly from L.A., the okay. greater L.A. area, you know. I'm from Compton, you know, so... Was it a crew that you'd always rolled with, or did you find people, you know, via this person or stuff you'd worked on before? Uh, yeah, every time I go on set, I'm always trying to network with somebody, you know? Because uh, what I came to find out, I'm, I'm a hustler, man, you know what I okay. mean? I network with a lot of people. I talk to a lot of people. I'm a humble dude, you know. It doesn't really matter what it is that you do or what you can do for me. I just chop it up with people. Right. And then once you get to know them, you know, once they open those up those doors and 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 you tie with them with that person, then you start to really network and collab, you know. So I try not to put all my eggs in one basket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is Hermano something that somebody brought to you? Or did you already have that? Like you had already been trying to make this movie? Um. It was it was brought to my attention, and I feel so blessed, and I'm very thankful that it did uh, because of the you know relationship bond that I built with this uh, independent company. Who's it? Can you name that company? Yeah, Los Feliz Films, and they are okay. here in the audience right right here somewhere. I don't know. I don't. I'm, I'm, damn, these fucking lights are bright as fuck. Yeah. yeah. The, Los Feliz Films. You know what I'm saying? It's called Hermanos. They're, okay. the, they're the producers of the film. Awesome. Um, and um, yeah, we, we we plan on branching out on a lot of stuff, man. It's uh, it's something that, <clears throat> like I said it, it before, it's it's like divine intervention almost because it, Cholo's trial almost didn't happen, mm -hmm. you know. And because it did happen the way it did happen, it's uh, it's broken a lot of stereotypes. Uh, we we pretty much Cholo has became a household name, you know what I mean. So yep. now you know we're we're doing what we're doing with the try stuff. We're doing films, you know, we're doing TV. I, pro I produce music, engineer music, you know. So what kind of music? Hip-hop is my core. Okay. Yeah, you know, but as a musician, as an artist, I listen to everything, man, yeah. everything. Even the shit that anybody else might not like, Yeah. I listen to everything because I'm trying to find that new sound. As a producer you know? of hip-hop, uh, have you heard anything that I've done? <laughs> yes, I, yes, I have, Dan. Why, oh, yes, I have. Oh, shit. What do you think? Hey, I think you need to be on Wildin' Out or something, man. They need to have, have you on there or something. Get these freestyles cracking with these fools and battle them out, man. Okay. He's battle ready? Is, is he battle ready? I think he's battle ready, oh, man. Oh, shit. I think he might be battle ready. Battling with himself, but he's battle ready, man. <laughs> Should I battle? Let's battle. Let me, let me battle Brandon. Oh, oh I, shit. I have to, I have to lose. It's, the, it's called Hard No, Town. no, don't. Don't, <laughs> don't lose on purpose. <laughs> Oh, shit. It's kind of like print. Damn. Oh. <laughs> print. You almost had a pizza. I want your vagina and your curly hair. I got your Minnesota vagina. I'll make a pair. Oh, um, have, you, have you ever fallen asleep on a mustard cloud and danced with a purple bear? <laughs> Oh, I didn't, I didn't wait. I didn't even hear it. He's already okay. Wait, 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 yo, yo. Why you burning me so fast? Why you rapping so fast? You fucking topaz. I stole your mama's topaz. They're gonna bring it. Ass blast. I should do all my freestyles in the voice of Prince, or would that make any sense? Oh. oh. Damn, okay. Hey, I, I like that shit you did with John Mayer, man. That was dope, man. Yeah, oh, was yeah. Dope. you mean having dope. John Mayer freestyle? Rap. Yeah. No, but that little beat, that little beat y'all did, and then the freestyle that y'all did, that shit was hard, homie. He got, was, he, he got soulful in the middle there. There was like a he had like a run where he was like, yeah. Oh yeah. Where he was like truly like he was unafraid and in, in uh, like like 
expressing his fear of being John Mayer. Oh, I yeah. I really like that. Yeah, he was, he, was, he was feeling it, man. He was feeling it. And you was feeling it, too, man. I love that shit, man. I've never felt anything. Uh, man. <laughs> I swear That's I was for like, pussies. Will you shout out your group? Like, do you do, like, if you have a couple groups that we should listen to, you produce them right now? Is there anything hot? Uh, I, I mainly produce for myself. Okay. You know, I mainly produce for myself, man. So that you way do freestyle. So fucking bust it. Down bust here, it. Man. God damn it. Here, <laughs> oh, oh. Here we go now. Yeah. Oh, Marco Macho Macho. Yo. Yeah, sipping on vodka, some bomb shit, this ain't no caca. Chalice, chilling with Dan, chilling with the homie Brandon, that's the man, yeah. yeah. And we getting down, right here on motherfucking Harmon Town. Yeah. yeah, Los Feliz Films. Yo, this is how I feel, I feel good, I feel great, let's take it up a notch, oh shit. Yo, check it, huh? One time, two times, three times, maybe four. I'ma kick your motherfucking ass out the door if you wanna talk shit, if you wanna be a bitch, and if your ass wanna trip, then you can suck my dick, and I don't give a shit. You still a trick? You a fucking dick. You a fucking prick. Uh, that's just how I feel. I don't really care for real. <laughs> Unless you're paying me money, but this shit might sound bad to you, but to me it's funny. Yeah, Dan yeah. Harmon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cholo's tribe, baby. Big talk from the West Coast. Just a little something, just a little something, just a little something on a beatbox tip. Yeah, I mean, you know, I got a little something. Yeah. Yeah. I may or may not have gone to an all-black middle school. Uh, how'd you know? Let's just say if you tell me a name, I can add sir and a lot to it uh, and give you a rapping name uh, in magic marker on any locker. Uh, <laughs> damn. And I Spoken can... A. Spoken word. He was a tagger. No, nah, I wasn't really a tagger. <laughs> oh. Shit. I was oh, raised I around know. the tagging culture. <laughs> oh, yeah? I was, I was, I grew up in a middle school where Sharpies and, mar and Magic Markers were, they were contraband. You ever heard of streaks? Streaks? Yeah. Like naked people? <laughs> nah, dog. It's like these fucking little pans and shit. They're little thick pans like Magnum Markers and shit. And it's, it's basically paint based. So, you know, in middle oh, like school. Oh, like paint, paint, paint pens. Yeah, in middle school, early high school, I used to be on the walls hitting up everywhere my name and shit oh, like that. And then, it, then it got into uh, spray canning, and then I hit up the fucking freeway spray painting the shit. It can was I, out. Can bullshit. I ask you a little bit? When people tag, are they getting just a little high? Isn't that kind yeah, of. They can, yeah, they yeah. can, yeah. That kind of, that's kind of part of it. Yeah, you know, because a lot of these fools ain't going to go fucking buy fucking. Masks right. to go fucking spray can you spray right. paint or whatever you know I did it on the strength and we used to hit a big ass fucking walls on the side of the freeway, you know and I would get fucking lit off that shit you yeah know? I get lightheaded for reals I had to take breaks it's kind of dope though yeah because nobody else yeah. makes uh, art in a way that gets them stoned at the same time yeah. oh, that's where the creativity comes out my boy except for this show oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go that's pretty dope you have, you didn't lose anybody all right well what have we yeah. learned. <laughs> Let me see. If you see a cholo tonight, um, uh, don't get scared because they might be humble. Yeah, ask them what they what they want. Yeah, what kind of strain they like to smoke. <laughs> yeah, ask them what kind of strain they like to smoke. What kind of bitches they like to fuck. What kind of drink they like to drink. Right. You know what I'm saying? What kind of fucking how they rolling? Yeah, how right. they rolling? You know what I'm saying? Do they like pop mollies? Do they pop ecstasies? Or do they just fucking look all game bang the fuck out and they just work regular day jobs? It's yeah. fine with me. You never oh, know. Man. They might be your best friend. Is uh, sad clown really a sad clown? Or is he a more of an introspective person? <laughs> all I know is that that's the homie Payaso. I don't know. <laughs> payaso? Yeah. Sad clown, happy clown, smile now, cry later. I don't know. You never know the difference, bro. Oh. Yeah, we're all fucked up anyways. What was that? Well, you're, you're moving too fast for me. What is payaso. Pi pi payaso. Slow it down. I'm so payaso excited to learn the word payaso. Clown. I don't know what that means. Payaso, clown. clown. Oh, payaso means clown. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Now I'm fucking, see, like, I just expanded my world. You got the homie payaso. You got the homegirl payasa. Got the homegirl clowner. Got the homegirl clowner. Payasex. Clowning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Should we do? I don't know nothing. Should we do, like, a real beat? 
You want to do a real thing? It's either that or Cholo's try D and D real quick. <laughs> oh shit! Let's do Cholo's but try D and D. In either D&D. case, we got three minutes. Let's hey. do. Let's do Cholo's hey, try D and D. Hey, hold on, D&D. hold on. I'm not too hype on what the fuck D and D means. That's what even that, better. What that is? Well, that's oh, good. That's because you gotta try it, Cholo. <laughs> oh. Well, all right. No, no, yeah. no. I don't. I don't think it's. You know, we, we don't rush D and D and 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 whore it out like this, do we? It's all whatever. I don't want to. I don't. I want to. Not since do... Harmon Quest season three got picked up by Verve. Yay! We don't need. Congratulations, Mayor. Oh, thank you, sir. Congratulations, thank you. Mayor, Mr. Mayor. Thank we you. We really did it, yes, sir. Thank you to the Cholo Caucus. Oh yeah. <laughs> the committee. You know, I like to thank my affiliation to the Gangster Nation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, West I think we, we gotta we gotta end it with some stone cold fucking hard ass professional rapping. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, let's try. So y'all got a track or what? We'll throw it. To oh, each we other. got yeah, we got the music. We're all gonna make share in the beat. It's gonna be a real beat. We'll throw it to each other. Yeah, I'm feeling that shit. By our rap names. Yeah. Happy Dan in the house. Oh shit. Happy Dan! Happy I'm like Dan. DJ Khaled. I just ex- I just exclaim my name. Yeah. Happy Dan! Happy Dan! Happy Dan! No. Happy Dan! Happy Dan! I'm so happy! Oh! We got MC Beard in the house. Yeah. Oh damn! MC Beard! Yeah. You already know what it is. <laughs> happy yeah. Dan! Give it to him, Happy Dan. Happy Dan! We got gonna... Slamming Brandon in the building. Sla- slamming? Yeah, just just go with it, dog. Slamming, oh, go yeah, with man. it. Slamming, slamming Brandon. If slamming. you fuck around, slamming. you might get slammed. Yeah. Oh, damn. Slamming! Yeah. No, the closed doors. Start wars. Yeah. MC Beard. Slam on top of you. Coco! Coco Loco in the building. Yo. Yeah. I raised your children. Yo. Uh, Hell yeah. They'll grow up to my music. Yo. And they'll learn to abuse it. Oh. And get caught up in the system. Come on. And then them motherfuckers become the victim. Choco. Oh, damn. Caught up in the mix. Going to prison and shit. Yo. But I don't want to lead them that route. Because I ain't about that chasing clout. I keep that shit real. That's how I feel. Because on the real, that's how I fucking grew up. For real. In the ghetto. Around the motherfucking bunch of motherfucking fools disrespecting, being skeptics. But now I made it in their hectic. Uh, Happy Dan. Oh, Yo, he's a crappy Dan. man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, slamming Brandon. Yeah. Yo, I think my nigga Brandon slamming. Uh, Brandon dude with slamming. the beard. <laughs> MC beard. His name is MC Beard. Uh. <laughs> he's throwing it everywhere. MC Beard. <laughs> yeah. Look, I need to fill my he, cup with a little bit of ice. It. It's an open table. <laughs> Stripes, solids. Yeah. If you brought a cue, do uh, it. Yeah. Want some more? Yeah. I'll pour it. All right. <laughs> you can wrap some more. All right. More rhymes with pour. Yeah. Be a little vagrant. I like to be flagrant. Uh. Hey, Brandon, what's happening? Did you hear my boy Dan over here rapping? I heard your boy Dan was rapping, heard him happy. Wouldn't it be in this room and be a victim of my strapping? Is oh. it you, you trapping? I run up to start me flapping. Heard this motherfucker run up in the room and get dapping. Oh. Turn it back on or turn me off, fuck it. My man's up there, I'm corrupt shit, get lucky. Run up yeah. in this bitch like a leprechaun. Rock this motherfucker till the break the dawn. What kind of weed is this kid on? Uh. Straight up hydroponic. I'ma run up in this motherfucker, hit you like I'm Sonic. Yeah. Listen closely, the shit rhyme phonic. Yeah. Get this motherfucker like my nickname. Speaking of weed, Sonic. Oh my ever God. since I turned 13. At? Run up in this motherfucker, hit this microphone like baseball bat. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. oh Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh. He, looking up, he over there looking at you serious, dog. Oh. He over there looking at you serious, man. <laughs> MC Beard, what you got for Brandon, Dow Slamming Brandon? Oh shit, it's MC Beard in the house. Apparently, his music doesn't exist anymore. Um, I guess we'll just go home. Um, I guess that's, I guess we're just ending the show like that because that's just fine entertainment for people. Um, yeah. I'm Spencer Crittenden. 
<laughs> Thank you. Oh, man. So. That has been Harmontown, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go right to the great. Spencer Cradenton. Omar Camacho, everybody. Omar Camacho. Big Dan talk Harmon. from the West Coast. Big talk from the West Coast. Make sure y'all peep out that Purple Life video on YouTube, man. I go by Big Talk from the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? My artist name. Purple Life, Hermanos, Cholos Try. And that's all I got to say for tonight. You already know. Hell yeah. Yeah, we did that shit. Yeah. I go by Dan Harmon. Google autofill, Dan Harmon, Chevy Chase feud, Dan Harmon. <laughs> Dan Harmon, alt right, Nazi rant, Dan Harmon, Rick and Morty season four, hold up, Dan Harmon, uh, horrible piece of shit here, drink that. Sarah Hill, Chris Bora, Zach McKeever. We've been here at the Dynasty Typewriter downtown of LA. Make some noise. We'll see you, church. Good night. Make some noise. We miss you. We miss you so much, Jeff Davis. Good night. Get any of that? It's a good show.